Welcome, YouTube! Here we go. <laughs> I pulled my headphones out. Here we go. We're doing, uh, there's a new Fall Guys song. A uh, song? I keep flubbing today. There's a new Fall Guys event. We were talking about songs in chat. <laughs> there's a new Fall Guys event. Ultimate Scrap. Um, where we gotta win a couple games. Win souls, win duos, win squads, win knockout. Okay, only five survival levels and five points levels. This was probably an event they did to make up for the last one because that last one was rough. Um, 50 levels in Explorer. Listen, we're not going to get through all this today. We're probably not going to get through most of it today. But let's at least get started. Let's see where we can go. Because I am um, I'm not in the mood to stream for an insanely long period of time today. I have an alarm that always goes off at 11. If that alarm goes off, we're ending. And if I feel like ending before, then we'll end. I just want to get through... I don't know what it is about this semester of college. Everything is off, dude. Everything is wrong. I thought I would love this semester because I'm was. i taking classes I like, but it is just all not easy, not fun. So that is why my streams have been so sporadic and I had to cancel like three last week, which I felt so bad about. I might try to just do once a week for now. Speaking of VOD frogs and songs of song VOD frogs and laughs, okay. Interesting. But yeah, we're back with Fall Guys. It's been a minute. Unfortunately, Ellie and Phoenix won't be here. Well, Phoenix might. She said she might, cause but she's like doing chores right now. And Ellie is gonna stream Zelda soon. The new one, which I haven't seen anything about. Um, I feel like I would enjoy that one more than Breath of the Wild. I don't know. I know Zelda used to not be so open world, and I don't know if the new one is back to like that old vibe, or if it is still um, open world like Breath of the Wild and Tears of Kingdom. I'm tired of open world games. <laughs> I have I've had enough. All right, not everything has to be Minecraft. It's fine, guys. We can we can have linear games too. Hey, don't try to grab me. Dar Barbie girl, I'll I'll keep you in mind. I'll I'll keep an eye on you. Live in Florida, a tree. Oh my god! Oh my god! From Ellie's stream, it seemed not open world. Okay, maybe I'll get that one. I wanted to get into Zelda. I just never did. Um, I just realized I should start Avatar: The Last Airbender soon. <laughs> I don't know why that, that came to mind. Parkour civilization has come a long way. Dude, speaking of parkour, I want to play Chain Together again. For some reason, I thought we were playing that today. Uh, yeah, that was supposed to be yesterday's stream, and then it had to get canceled. Again, stream's getting canceled left, set, left, 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 right, left, left, right, and center out here. Jesus, I got through there. I got through it. I was gone for a good chunk of it. But from, gotcha, okay. I can ask him. Interesting. Okay. English doesn't like you today? Dude, I just haven't- I guess I haven't talked as much as I thought I have. I've really just been- been keeping it quiet. Um... This- dude, I swear, I still don't like this game after that event that we did. I, I like doing all the events as they show up, at least doing a stream of them just to do a stream, like just to have like, you know, hey, like this is a new event, let's check it out. But man, since that last <laughs> Fall Guys event, I've, I've not been interested in this game. Like, I've never seen a game kill all of their intrigue that fast. That Like, that was crazy how fast that happened. <laughs> Oh man. All right. No. Oh, got it. Easy. Light work. No, uh, no, no issues. No reactions. No worries. No qualms. <laughs> Dude, I cannot. W I'm telling you, this winter break, I'm gonna sleep for a month. I'm not waking up for a month. Some might call that coma. I'm calling it relaxation period, baby. Let's go. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> What happened? Uh, I sent the box flying and it broke on the ground instead of breaking with my chicken. 
What is this map? It's just a little, it's just a little box. You just gotta break some boxes in a box. I don't know what this button does, if I'm being honest. I don't know if it unlocks more boxes or... I have no idea. They weren't clear about it. Oh, it turns on the fan up there. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Everybody is so bad at this game. <laughs> it takes forever for this game to. This is like. I don't know. We'll, we'll get through the explore easier. Gonna go find a snack? Alright, have a good one. Good luck. Let us know what you got. Nice. Yeah, man. I don't know. Fall Guys is... is I was very excited for it when mobile came out because I was like, okay, let's get like all these new people in. Immediately dropped the ball with that event. So now I'm like... I'm just... I don't think Ellie's played. Well, no. I think Ellie finished the fame pass, maybe. I don't think Phoenix has played. I've definitely not played. I don't know if I'm going to 100% the fame pass this time because it ends on Tuesday and it is Thursday. <laughs> I've got five days to finish this game. I might not pick this game back up. Dude, I've been thinking about it. I've been thinking about if I'm over this game. Like, if I if I want it, the new Fame Pass starts on Tuesday. I don't know if I want to play it. I kind of want to get this one done just to be done. But then I don't know if I want this on my mind anymore. Like, I don't know if I want to have to be like, oh, I got to do my dailies, you know? I never really liked dailies, though. Animal Crossing was a different thing because it was like, it's not really online. Like, it, you just do your dailies to play the game. Like, that's the whole point of the game. Uh, but I don't know, this, it's different for a game- oh, It's different for a game like this, where it's like, you gotta do your dailies to keep up with all the new content forever, and there's no end goal. Like, you're never gonna be done. Oi! Don't hit me. <gasps> don't hit me. Please. Please. Okay. Rude. Bunch of no good bullies out here! All right, this will take me all the way back up. L like so. Very nice. You don't like our NYT? What did I say? Oh, those daily- Well, that doesn't count. I don't think that counts the same way. Although, I will- Like, even doing my Duolingo and my New York Times every day, It at some point, it does hurt my head. I'm just like- Oh, I gotta wake up, I gotta do this, and then I gotta start my day. So, so, like, today, I had to just start my day. I couldn't do it in the morning. I did the mini in the morning, and that's it. Um, Because, to be honest, my laptop was still not shut down from yesterday. I fell asleep doing work, and then it just, like, went to sleep. <laughs> so, I just woke up, turned it on, saw what I was doing, closed out some stuff, and then did my mini. What's up, Risco? How you doing? Welcome. Are you winning? Uh, first game, maybe. We're in the finale. Hexagon is not always my strong suit. I have some good games, but I give it like a 70-30 split. Maybe 40-50, you know? The other 10%, I don't know where that goes, but... You know, who's to say? That being said, this seems like a good, uh good run right now like we're up here we're out here having a good time right now we're the ones at the top of the map that's always good that being said it's very easy to fall down a very far amount and then not know where to go Like, right now, we're on the same level as a lot of people, so there's no promise that we're going to be, like, the best, you know? That being said... Oh, I see? You can always fail! You can always fall and fail and mess up. It's always possible. Just got to keep an eye on the others, see what they're up to. Don't like being here. Oh my god, you cut off the big portion, idiot! See? Now we're at the bottom. It always, it always happens to me, man. 
I'm not a I'm not a winner. I'm a loser. I just lose. Get away from me. Get away from me. Why are you here with me? <laughs> Leave. Okay. It's all right. It's all right. It's not all right. We're going to lose this. <laughs> like I said, it's a 40-50 split <laughs> with my win-loss in this. Um, and this is on the 50 side. Um, so, you know. I do think 30-70 made more sense, to be honest. Did that guy just fall? There's no way. Oh my gosh. Trash. Worse than me. Um... I do think sep Goodbye. I do think 70-30 is a better split for how much I win these. I'm not great at hexa hexagon. Hexagon. It is two times fame right now. That's good. That's- that's nice. Um... I still don't know if I'll 100% this thing. Uh, if I'll get the full fame pass. Or if I'll do the full event, to be honest. I might not have the energy. Do I really care? I don't think so. It's a skin I'm never gonna use. I- it's like, I don't play this game that much. I don't know what I'm working towards. I feel like there's no point in playing this game anymore. The one thing I was maybe working towards was getting more, uh, suck bucks to use on the Venom skins. Like, getting the full Venom collection next time it's in the shop. Which is what, 2400? suck bucks plus 600 for the next fame pass so i need 30 hundred there's no point i don't know what the point is of anything anymore actually um stop doing anything you know just lay in bed watch new girl that's what i've been doing that's all i've done for the past like three or four weeks i've laid in bed and i've watched new girl and then when the deadline started hitting i would crunch out some work that's been my life man I can't- I can't lie to you. That's been it. <laughs> That's been- I was watching New Girl before the stream started. I've watched it like three or four times in the last month. It's a good show. One of the quotes that always stuck with me was in Thanksgiving, uh, in Parent Trap. When Jess's mom just goes, You need to calm down, you know? It's just life. Which is like, I like that quote. Anyway. Very good show. Definitely, it makes me feel bad because I just sit and watch it for so many hours. Like, I think I lay in bed for five hours, five plus hours yesterday doing nothing. Just watching. Not even watching, really. I was just lying there listening to it and staring at space and then going to sleep, I think. When the existential crisis I just watched. Welcome. How you doing, Phoenix? I don't know, man. I'm just tired. <laughs> I just really need sleep. I feel like I've been... It's like like I said, I've been working nonstop, but it's also like... Like, I'm also bed rotting. Like, it's like I either rot in bed or I... But like, I'm never... My brain never feels like it's engaged in a good way. It's either like cramming out work or it's just rotting and watching the same show that I could probably just quote now because... Like, there's so many audio clips from New Girl that are just... They're in my head. Like, different things that the characters say in a specific inflection. I just hear it. I can just... I can just... Constantly hear it. It's the voices. In my head. They sound like Jess and Nick and Winston Schmidt. And Coach. I guess. If you're outside and said you're composing. <gasps> thanks, man. Oh, thanks, SpongeBob. Appreciate you. That's so kind of him. What a nice guy. That guy definitely finishes last. You're compost, com composting, not composing. Gotcha. Understood. Why are you grabbing me, you little shit? I can curse now. I haven't been. I haven't been able to curse on my stream in so long. <laughs> I keep streaming with Phoenix and Ellie. You're concerned. Why are you concerned, man? What are you concerned about? What possibly could you be concerned about? <laughs> Welcome back, Zen. Zen, what snack do you get? Tell us. Tell everyone. I want to know. Please? I'm A-OK, -okay, man. Unrelated, I'm about to down a bottle of alcohol. No, I'm good. 
I'm chilling, bro. I'm chilling in space. Slap on your face. I just really want to be out of college. I would, dude, literally first three semesters of college, I was in computer science. I hated it. Uh, and I was like, I want to drop out. I don't want to do this anymore. Hey, hit the button. There you go. Now go inside there. Okay. Wrong place. Wrong doorway to go inside. You were almost there. You almost made it out, man. Um, I always, uh, I just wanted to drop out. Like I was so sick of being in college. And then I started doing, um, IT information technology. And like now I, I loved it. Right. I loved it last semester. And this semester, I feel like I'm back in CS. Like, I'm hating it. I just, I want to drop out again. I'm tired of this. Go in the, go in the, <gasps> you're, come on, please. <laughs> he was almost there. Oh, he was there. He made it. I'm hungry, so I got some wavy cheese flavored chips. Okay, sun chips, I guess. Um, Some peach rings, some dark chocolate covered, ooh, chocolate covered pomegranates. I used to have those. We don't have them anymore. A kiwi and a cheese stick. Dude, you you got a real weird variety of snacks. I can't blame you. I generally mix snacks together that shouldn't be mixed. Potato chips? Oh, okay. Gotcha. I tend to mix stuff together that shouldn't be mixed. But um, that's a real weird combo, I'll say. Like, I never go that far. I mix two or three things. At least it's not forever. It feels like forever. It feels like I'm never going to escape, actually. I feel I'm going to die in college. I don't think I'm going to make it out of here. Just like Ellie's not going to make it past 35. I'm not making it out of college. I don't know how I'm supposed to. It does feel really weird. I don't know what it is, man. I, I, I know I'm, I'm like jokingly having an existential crisis right now. It does feel really weird. To be playing fall guys again i don't know why i just feel like i haven't played it in ages even though it's really not been that long i don't think it's i last time i played was this season and the seasons happen every month so i don't know i'm like partly joking jokingly having one and also partly it might be a little real but i think that's what my entire stream is is mostly jokes and just a little bit of a hint of truth um so you know nothing new used to play every day I guess. My cha cha chapel roan vinyl on my Sabrina Carpenter CD. Wow, you really are a teenage girl. Um, I don't know any songs from Chapel Roan. I just have heard that name 500 million times, and I always mix it up with Dave Chip Chip J Dave Chipel J the guy who's like a comedian but transphobic. That guy. I always mix them up, <laughs> which. And then I hear Chapel Run, but then I know that you're not actually talking about him. I don't think she's real. I do know, I think Hot To Go or whatever, that's like the, the one TikTok song that's like, that's hers that blew up. I think, other than that, I don't know her songs. I don't really know anything about her. <laughs> it's a compliment. I mean, well, it's not a compliment. It's just a statement of fact. Well, it's not not a compliment. Guys, I don't hate teenage girls. I'm just saying, like... <laughs> Look, I'm a feminist and all. It's, <laughs> it's just it's just a statement of fact. I don't know what you want from me. Hot to go is the one that blew up. Yeah, yeah. Sabrina Carpenter, too. Jeez, like, her, a lot of her songs are blowing up. Is my Metallica listening to Teen Girl Coded too? Yeah, sure. Why not? I believe that teen girls can do whatever they want to do. They can they can listen to Metallica. I give them permission to listen to Metallica. You're you're allowed. <laughs> so hey, uh, secret to this map. Now again, I haven't played in a while. Secret to this map, I believe, is just standing like literally right here, just standing here and sending some hearts so that people don't kill you. And then every once in a while, a, 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 one of the UFOs will come over this spot, but you just keep an eye out for it. It comes from the left side, generally. Now it is possible they moved around the UFOs because I don't know if they are the way they were. Get on. Oh, no. Uh, oops. Ah! Please! So that one, that one was a little bit off. I believe it went a little, it might be different. They might have changed up the movements, but I know that the patterns used to be exactly the same every time. Different girl coded. You're not like other girls. You're like just from New Girl, you know? You're very, very quirky! <laughs> I, 
couldn't see myself. I'm sorry. Shine down. I listen to. I think because of uh, Risco. Oh, that's the one that goes through. See. So yeah, I think that it is the same pattern. Uh, disturb system of down ACDC Guns and Roses. I, I don't know. I don't know bands. Star set. Good pick. Good one. That's a good one. Oh boy. Okay. Do you listen to Pierce the Veil? Do you listen to, uh, do you listen to, uh, uh, what's the one with the guys, the people, uh, the people, uh, um, uh, what are their names? <laughs> what are their, uh, the, uh, the, the parade ones, the ones that are like, the ones that are like, mama, you know, the ones like, those guys, <laughs> what's their name? Breaking Benjamin is good. I have not listened to enough of their songs. I really should. It was good seeing them live. I wish I knew more of their songs before going to see them live. Mama is not Queen. That's not it. <laughs> it's, um... My Chemical Romance. Jesus, I got there. MCR. That's actually what Minecraft was based off of. The name Minecraft It's based off MCR. Low known fact. The game's actually called My Chemical. Wait, oh, did I actually, wait, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on, <laughs> hang on a second. Did I just sing a Queen song when I met another one? Wait, cause no, yeah, no, I did. <laughs> cause it's like, yeah, cause Queen goes like, mama, ooh, right? But MCR is the one that's like, the one that's like, uh, that has the name of the song is Mama. But that's not from, but that's not from the song. Hey, I'm winning, son. Risco, I won. Yeah, Parade, I meant. <laughs> I mixed up, t I mixed up the two places. <laughs> uh, the two bands, I mean. We're only going up one level at a time with this XP, which is not lovely. I think you'd like Citizen Soldier. Um, sure. You can DM it to me. I probably won't listen, but you can DM it to me. I've listened to a lot of music recently. I need to, uh, I want to listen more, but I'm so lazy. I also have to remove a lot of old songs from my playlist. The ones that don't bring me a bunch of joy. I added a couple songs from rare occasions that I'm not 100% sure if they bring me joy, but I'm giving them a shot. So I just, add, I basically added every song from every album <laughs> to my playlist and we'll just see which ones I like. Because I liked all of them, I think, but... You're losing it? Dude, I really think I am losing it a little bit. I couldn't talk and now I'm mixing up Queen and MCR and I literally am like, I'm, I'm just going crazy. I also haven't been able to remember stuff recently. Oh, hey, did I mention I got an ADHD diagnosis? Like, it's a real thing. I actually have it. I got the diagnosis, like, officially. <laughs> so, maybe, hey, maybe that's a part of I don't know. Maybe that's a part of everything. Um. So, you know. Wow, everybody hit a wall and everybody <laughs> who's shocked. I don't think anyone is. I don't think anyone is, but you know, hey, it's a thing. It exists. I have it. I don't know how to feel about it, but I have it. Let me in first. No, I want it. Did I get it? I don't know if I got it. <laughs> I was so close to getting it. I was really upset if I didn't. We're about to see. I did. I'm Marvel Jesus. Let's go. Risco's DMing me. Ignore. Just kidding. Been told by a lot of people to think I have ADHD, which scares me. Um, Ellie definitely does. If I have it, Ellie has it. I'm just saying that right now. If I have it, Ellie has it, and that's just how it works. I we it, we're the same person. You can't it's you can't have one way without the other. Like it it just doesn't work. He has anxiety. I have anxiety, and we often have it at the same time of day, of year, of month, whatever. Our cycles are synced, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Mine! No! They're gonna steal it from me, they're gonna steal it! No, they're gonna steal it! Oh, I got both of them, you suck! You suck, you stupid little... Sorry. 
I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good, guys. I'm chilling. Come here. All right, don't. I didn't even want you. I didn't even. It's like I wasn't even interested. You think you're so pretty? Like I didn't even want you. <laughs> no, I saw the. I saw it, and I wanted it. And I want this one too. You lose it. You lose it. You didn't lose it, prick. I want this to the silvers. I'm a greedy little. I'm a greedy little guy. Stole. Oh, didn't steal it. I suck at this. I see you. Oh, I'm bad. No, I went to the trash heap as well. No way. Get out of here. <laughs> he just spawned in. This game's silly. Oh my god. I'm not gonna hit that. I want that one. Come here. Why would you send it away from me? It's I. It's fine. Don't steal it from me. Come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. You just gotta hit them before they can hit it, you know? <gasps> Come here, baby! Let's go! Please break. Thank you. Easy. Literally no issue. <laughs> thanks for the case. Hey, Zip. Thank you. Uh, th thanks for the case. Zip. Have a good one. The flub is back. I literally don't know what's wrong with me today. I'm like, I've been a little off though. I feel like I've been off kilter. I gotta get that groove back. I gotta get back into the rhythm. I don't know how. Don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I just go for a, like a run for an hour. I was thinking that. I was thinking, what if I just reset my brain? What if I just go on a run for an hour? What if I just go for an hour and I don't stop? And then I get someone to pick me up. Like, I'm not going to run all the way back home. But what if I just run? I just go and I run for an hour and I see what happens. It would be a good way to get some... Get my brain reset. It does not sound fun, Risco. I hate running. I, I don't have stamina. I'm I'm good at... Like, I'm, I like working. Like, I like lifting weights. That's fun. I like strength training. I don't like stamina. I, do, I like endurance. I used to like running, but then I grew up and I became a human and then I understood. <laughs> like high school, I think I ran a decent amount. But that's also because my parents told me I can't lift weights. Like they were saying it makes you shorter or something. I don't know. One of those like myths that like don't exist actually. And we just kind of say things. But then to work out, all I could do is run. So then I, I would run like. I would feel like, okay, I'm doing something. But now I know I have other options. So why would I run? I don't want to do that. It's the same way how you can, like, wake up early for school when you're in high school. But now in college, I can't wake up for an 8 a.m. class. Are you kidding me? What do you? Who do you think I am? I'm not going to do that because I know it's optional. It's different. It changes. It changes the entire mindset. It changes the vibes. That guy died. GG. Sucks for you. I've definitely done that before, the guy that died. I've definitely- I've done- I've done the exact same thing. Can't blame him. But like, you know. Oh, it's fans at the end. I love it. I like strength thing, but I don't have weights. Heaviest I have is three pounds. Jesus. I show up for my 8 a.m. classes and not that bad. Uh, I'm good. I never could- I never wanted to wake up for high school. I don't want to wake up now. In general, not at 8 a.m. I just don't want to wake up, but that's a different story. I like <laughs> I, <laughs> another good artist is Nefix. Nefix. I don't want to wake up. <laughs> another good artist is NF. That's a good one. You should listen to NF. He had another one. He had a TikTok uh, song that blew up on TikTok as well. Circular slime. I don't think I've won won this one before. It'd be nice to give it a win. Give it, give it a nice one. My dog needs to be let out. All right. Good luck. I hope your dog has a good piss or whatever. You know. It's not weird. I'm just wishing well. It's it's normal in dog culture.
I don't really like this level. But maybe it's just because I'm not used to it. That guy's dead. Died right before my eyes. Uh, yeah, so this part you can't get past, I think, if you... Right? After a certain section, like, that's where it becomes, like, the, it comes to a natural conclusion, I believe. <gasps> Saved it. Cracked. August D is good. August D's nuts, am I right? Let's go. It's me and one other person. Honestly, could win this one. We could get a double. I knew that was gonna break. Oh, please die. Let's go, baby! Double! Two wins in a row! I can't lose other than the one time I lost. Let's go, dude! So many artists I want to recommend. Uh, don't worry. You know what's nice about that, Risco? Is if you tell me every single one of them, I won't listen to a single one. You want to give me one? Maybe I'll listen to it. Even better, you want to give me one album? Maybe I'll listen to it. Are you a Sabrina fan? Yeah, I have a couple of her songs on my playlist. She's a good artist. I watched Girl Meets World a little bit. I don't know how much... I don't know if I watched all of it. That was like around the time where I started leaving Disney. Um, as I got older and stuff. But... Did I... Did they change the dailies? Oh, qualify from any level in any game. They did not change the dailies. I don't know why I thought they did. We need one more knockout win. Let's keep going. I gave you exactly one song for this reason, but I still like saying names just for funsies. Okay. You say them. You have fun saying them. Uh, listen, no worries. You enjoy that. Risco's music is so um, nerdy. <laughs> uh, Risco's playing music the entire time they were here, and it was always like nerd, nerd stuff. Geek stuff. <laughs> Geek! Some of her lyrics are hitting too hard, though. <laughs> Does she have a lot of breakup ones? Sorry. Sorry. I don't know if that was too soon. <laughs> I assume that's what you're saying, though. I assume that's, like, what you're referencing right now. But still, it feels too soon. <laughs> Potentially. I was playing Shine Down half the time. Uh, I don't remember that. What are you talking about? I remember you playing, like, Bardic Metal or something. <laughs> like... You're lying. You're gaslighting me. Dude, I really want... You know what I was... I, I've realized that the aura in the world has been really off lately. I don't know if it's because of the election. or probably. I feel like it's not. Because the election has not been on my mind that much. I mean, it has been a little bit. But I feel like like I know who I'm voting for and stuff. So I haven't really like kept track of it. Um, But... I don't know. I feel like everything's been so off lately. I've been thinking about that a lot. And like, I've been talking to, like, I talked to my, uh, well, like my mom has been like tired and like sleepy. And like, I've talked to like, I've, you know, I talked to like the people like for my dying, like ADHD diagnosis and all that. And they were like, yeah, everyone I've talked to has like felt the same way. I'm just like, yo, what is this? I want to reset, dude. I want things to be better. It's like, everything's been like, something's been wrong in the world. I don't know if you guys are feeling that. It could be like a Jersey thing. Everyone hella EP, dude. We're all up on that Eepster right now. We're all EP. Eepster webs. Mir Miriam Eepster, you know? I was so happy that I was on Ox the whole time you guys didn't tell me to stop. Uh, I thought I'd be rude if I told you to stop. <laughs> Maybe it's an East Coast thing, then. Because Risco's not saying it. It's possible it's an East Coast thing. Or a canon event is coming soon. That too. Who knows? I want things to be better. I, I'm gonna like... This is something... I just want to work towards getting... Like making things better. Because something isn't right. And I want to know what it is. But even if I can't figure out what it is. I just want to like... I want to wake up and feel like... Alright, let's go! Let's do something! Even streaming is making me feel better. Because I'm like doing something. That I enjoy. I'm not sitting around doing a bunch of work. And just wallowing in it you know like vod probably didn't see this because i started vod after i got some energy but i started the stream with like no energy need to really get into it which is not normal for me normally i just jump right in if you don't like my music you said something i didn't say i didn't like it i just said it was nerdy and i thought it would be mean to like be like hey let's play in normal music but that doesn't mean i didn't like it <laughs> mental health or something there's a lot of uncertainty for me right now i feel like there's a lot of uncertainty for me too i don't know it's the future you know we're young and stuff <sighs> i 
I don't even want to go for a run. I want to go for a sprint. I feel like I like sprinting more. I like just making distance. The weird kid playlist? Was that not your just your normal playlist? You were the weird kid when you were younger, and I have a lot of reason to believe that. I think I even said that to you um, when you were here. I'm pretty sure I told you that, so. The fact that I have to say it twice, you're gonna take that to mean that it's true? Oh, look at that. Speed run. Ignore these people in front of me. Speed run. Speed run. <laughs> I knew I was gonna get hit too. I'm glad you didn't know me in middle school and early high school. Didn't I? Early high school, didn't I? We've known each other for like four years, bro. No, over four years. We've known each other since before quarantine. I knew you in early high school. What are you talking about? You got the zoomies. <laughs> right. At least it was in middle school. Same for me, dude. Have a good one, Zen. Also, Zen was the weird, quiet kid. I was also the weird, quiet kid. I didn't like talking to anyone, dude. I hated high school. I hated being around people. I didn't I didn't think anyone was cool. I didn't like any of them. I was like, shut up, don't talk to me. I didn't think I was cooler than them. I just thought that they were annoying. Actually, I probably did think I was cooler than them. A little bit. A little bit. It's crazy how you can have insane amounts of anxiety and still have a giant fucking ego. I'm just built different, man. What can I say? <laughs> I'm just crack I'm cracked. I'm crazy. Um but, you know, I have to do a public speaking thing for an entrepreneurship class I'm taking. Yeah, I'm taking entrepreneurship. I'm a loser. I'm taking business classes. I'm taking business classes for my resume and that's all. Um, anyway, now that I've got that out of the way, I really had to make a case for why I'm taking it. Just because I didn't need you guys to look at me worse than you already do. But um, I have to do a public speaking thing. And the whole time I was just thinking about, like, I stream. I'm sure this will be fun. Like, there's... I don't know if I even have to worry about it. I can talk for 45 seconds about myself. That's fine. I can I can brag about myself. That's cool. I can write some stuff down about how I'm the greatest man alive. <laughs> I can lie. It's literally just teaching us how to do elevator pitches. So, easy stuff. Really no worries. Run! No! I knew it would block me potentially. I showed my friend FNAF drawing and he never talked to me again. <laughs> uh, yeah, I wouldn't either. That reminds me, we were literally talking in the Discord today about uh, Jaden painting a FNAF thing with uh, Hatsune Miku's hair. <laughs> and it reminds me of that. That's very funny. Okay. I'm making good time. We won't be first. I think these two are ahead of me. Um, I don't know what that guy's doing. Oh, hey, I was first. Never mind. Quit yapping, Ari. <laughs> Should have had some more confidence rolling into there. Once in middle school, I show my. F oh, now I read that. Hey, I'm going crazy again. <clears throat> For some reason, I was like, I haven't read this. I gotta read it. Read it, read it. Circle Slam again. I did just say I haven't won this one before. I don't feel like I'll get two wins of it in a row because it's kind of one that I, I'm not... I feel like it's partly it's, I'm not that good at it and it's partly that I just don't like it. <laughs> so... Boom, 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 boom. Have I stole both of my Twitch mods from Ellie? Zen was a... Zen was a mod for Ellie first, right? I don't know if... Oh, yup, yup, yup. Okay, we're good. Like I said, didn't think I would win this one. Think I got into my own head about it. That was real quick. Re Grabbing me? Why? We're all in this together. I'm out fairly first, yeah. I was thinking about that. I was just like, dang. 
I got some new mods, dude. Can I get some mods that are loyal to me, man? Because, um, I wasn't sure if Ellie went live yet and you went BRB because he went live. Because <laughs> I expect that to happen as soon as he goes. Um, oh my god, there's actually a lot of people live. Right now. Okay. He's been live for a bit? Oh, is he? Wait, I just looked through the live list. I didn't see him. Am I losing it? I mean, I think I am because today has just been me losing it. Maybe I unfollowed him. No, I didn't. I don't know why he's gone. I. That's weird. Zen, how long do you think you've been feeling uh, weird about life right now? I feel like it's been since... Uh, oh. I feel like it's been like months now. I don't know if it's just me. Let me go! Free me from these shackles, dude! Oh my god! Loki thinking about getting Fall Guys or something just so I can play with you guys, but I'm not a gamer. It's first of all, it's free, so I don't know. Like, mid late summer, dude! Yes! That's what I'm saying, like July, right? July, August. Yes, dude! Oh my god! It's not just me, dude. Let's go. Things are gonna get better. I listen. You know what? Things are gonna get better. If if Zen and I, who are in completely different states, are both dealing with this weird offness feeling, things are going to get better. We have to just work towards it. We gotta make our communities better. We gotta keep doing events. We gotta keep hanging out. We gotta like talk to our friends. We gotta go out, do stuff. We gotta make things better, man. I swear. Because if we're all dealing with the same stuff, it's not just us. We're not alone in this. That makes me feel feel much better, Zen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being honest with me. I appreciate you. Dude. There's some stuff, Zen, that I can't... I might talk to you off stream about. Um, I don't really want to talk about on stream. But, um, I... Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, for real. It's I do, it's something that was when everything started. Like my parents got real weird. I'm feeling weird since New Jersey. Yeah, uh huh. And that was around the same time. Yeah, it was it was a little after what I'm talking about. Like, but that, like, I started feeling weird a little bit before Elias and Risco showed up, which is why I felt so bad because they showed up and I was I couldn't get out of bed. Like they had to really force me up every time, which sucked because I wanted to spend time with them, but I was just feeling terrible. And then, um, and then they left and I just went back. Hello? 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 Relax? What's your name? Okay, I'll keep you in mind. You're, you're on my list, man. Um, but yeah, it was, it sucked because they were here and I wanted to hang out with them and spend time with them. And I feel like I did. I, I, you know, I took them to New York, which I feel like was a really good trip. But, you know. Dude. Oh my god, Zen. DM me right now. DM me right now to rem to tell you what I was talking about. Uh, off stream. I'll, I'll DM you after. Just send a reminder. <laughs> That's so crazy, though. I I have always believed... By the way, okay, first of all, uh, what I was saying earlier, Risco, this game's free. You can get it. it. Just get it. It's on mobile. Just get it. Play with us. I don't mind. I will play with you if you ask me to play this game with you. You're not a gamer, but you love Hollow Knight. Like, you do like video games. So, you can play if you want. You should get it. I still think it kind of flopped with that last event, but this one feels better, so. Anyway, what I was saying is, I've always believed that there's a psychic link between people, and I don't know if it's real. I don't know. It's my spirituality, okay? Like, I don't know if it's real. Um, Like, I, I don't know if I'm religious, but I, this is one of the things where I'm spiritual about it, where I think there's a psychic link between people, and I've told Ellie this before, where... He and I are very close, so whenever he feels anxious or whenever I feel anxious, the other person also feels that way. And we've had it multiple times where we haven't even talked, we haven't spent time around each other, we didn't even know that we were feeling anxious. So there's no way that we like accidentally empathically felt it. But he would feel anxious and I would be like, oh, so am I. Or I would feel anxious and he'd be like, oh, dude, same. Like it, it's been happening. It happened recently. It happened so much. Uh, I will read that in a second, Zen. I just want to win. Um... <laughs> So I've always believed that there is this kind of psychic link between people and sometimes it could be just uh, empath, right? Like it could just be, hey, we're spending time around each other and you're upset, so now I'm upset. But I think sometimes it is genuinely something more than that. 
All right, we're gonna just keep trying to go this straight this way. Just gonna keep going straight this way. Just gonna keep going. Oh well. Uh, straight? Why would you not try straight? Why would you not at least try? I don't know why I tried that. That was a real waste of time. Uh! All right, I lost. GG's. Ooh, wait, no, because we have to go backwards now. Oh, it's this way now. Oh, you know, you know the way. Oh, you guys know, no, you guys know, no, no. Get back here. No. Ah, oh, dude. Okay, anyway. Recently, I've been vibing with friends more. Like, my bestie, I went to a mall on Saturday, and we had the best time, bro. And I spent time seeing out with my bestie for, like, an hour. Didn't ask. That's a lot of yapping. Um, no, but hopefully things will start going well again. Recently, something happened that I think is also indicating that things are going to get better soon. So, uh, fingers crossed. I'm really glad to know it's not just me, though. Like, I'm so happy you're suffering with me, Zen. Like, genuinely, I, like, I'm so happy right now. Please suffer with me more, Zen. Whenever I'm suffering, I want you su to suffer too. Please. <laughs> I don't ever want there to be a single day where I'm suffering and you're not. I want you to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, dude. Gotta, gotta drag you down. Trouble too. Trouble's been through enough. I'll leave Trouble alone. <laughs> I only needed one of my mods with me. You're like my bodyguard, you know? I don't know why I've got a- <laughs> I don't know why I've got like- <laughs> I don't even know why I have a bodyguard. <laughs> but I don't know why I have Zen as a bodyguard. I don't think like- I feel like if you like frogs, you're not a strong person. And that's not an insult. I'm just saying it's- I, It's not an insult. It really- it's, it's not. Because like, you don't have- Being strong is not a good thing, right? Like necessarily. Like there's nothing about that. <laughs> But I don't think- <laughs> I don't know why I went this way with this. I don't know why I just started <laughs> saying that Zen's not a strong person. <laughs> I don't know, there's something wrong with me. Not physically strong? No, mentally. No, not mentally. Wait, <laughs> no. Uh, like, uh, aura-wise, right? I feel like you're- <laughs> There's more I might talk to you about how I'm really into the weird shit happening. But I want to like tra trauma dump. You can DM me, dude. <laughs> yeah, Zen, you're a pussy. <laughs> no. Um I <laughs> I don't want to trauma dump either, but uh I definitely want to hear what you have to say because I also have stuff to say that I'm not gonna say on stream. Um But yeah, no, I do think that there is a psychic link between people. And like Zen and I aren't like super close. Like we aren't talking every day or whatever, but like I don't know. I think that there is possibility that with us all being in the same community, we've all like psychically linked between other people who've linked to each other or whatever. We've created this web of struggles right now. And I think that's what's happened, potentially, you know? And I think that right now is just like, it's more powerful. I don't know. You know what? I want to believe in gods, not a God, probably. I don't know if I want to believe in one God, but I want to believe in multiple. Yeah, we chill, dude. We chill. I'm gonna be honest, I've not been super close. Like, you are on the level of people that I, I don't mind being close to, Zen. Like, there's a lot of people who I'm f who I was friends with or who I am friends with who I've not wanted to talk to at all. <laughs> like, I've not cared about reaching out to them or anything. And it's nothing against them. I just haven't had the energy and I've not felt like this is worth my time right now. Um, So I've really only spent time with like Barca and that's it. But Zen, I don't mind spending time with you. You're chill. This is what, really why I want to look into, like, the paranormal and stuff. Dude, you should. Uh, if you like the paranormal, you should listen to the Red Web podcast. It's stuff that I listen to. It's It was uh, it used to be part of Rooster Teeth. Then Rooster Teeth died and it went independent. And I think it's I think it's really good. Uh, it's true crime and stuff, but it's also a lot of paranormal. They've done ghost hunts every Halloween. I don't know what they're doing this year because they're independent for the first time. Um, but every year before they did like a Halloween special and I'm sure you can find them archived somewhere online and they might sell them on the Patreon. I don't know, like sell access to it. I don't know. You should feel honored. I'm a really cool person and you should want to be friends with me. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, it's, it, it, it's, it's, it's interesting to me. I like, I'm a sociology minor, right? Like I, I, 
I, I care about social connections, the social fabric and stuff. What was it called again? <laughs> Red web. R-E-D-W-E-B. Red web. Just like a string of webs of like the pins on the board with the web yarn going through. That's what it's based off of. Another survival. I don't think I've ever won this one either. I think I've gotten really close and I've lost. This is also one that a lot of people tend to die on, I think. So we could honestly win with just this one. Sometimes during lecture. Dude, I do the same thing. Lecture, I had to, I genuinely, I might have to get accommodations for the ADHD now that I know I have it. I've been really scared to because I've kind of not wanted to admit that I have it. But I think I have to just be okay with it and move on. Like, I always was okay being like, I think I have it. But when it actually got confirmed to me, I kind of freaked out a little bit. And I was like, oh my god, it's real. Like, I can't avoid it now. Like, it's a part of my identity. I told you, this one's not easy. I, to be fair, I lost that one on a very easy part. It's not easy, though. Trust me. <laughs> I want to get into paganism recently, but I haven't taken any steps to know anything because I'm lazy. Interesting. I wonder if there's any real, like, I wonder if religions are okay with people just being like, oh yeah, I want to dabble in it. <laughs> I feel a lot of religions are like, you got to actually put in, like, you got to be invested. You can't just be like, oh, I want to, oh, I want to, you know, I want to get into it. I want to take notes and I start, but I can't remember if the professor keeps talking. Um, you got to find skills that work for you because recently I've had the same struggle where two of my professors talk too fast and I just can't keep taking notes. So I type everything first as fast as possible. Like I literally, I stare at this because I'm, I've, I've typed for years. Like I've grown up typing so I can just stare at the thing and just type while I'm staring at what the slides are saying. So I don't have to, it doesn't take as long. And then if they keep going over the slides for an extended period of time or after class, I write down handwritten my notes using what i wrote down on the doc it's better to write it down handwritten uh it's better for your brain to remember stuff whatever so um you know that's important um but yeah if you can't get like it's just but you know it's just it's not easy don't they post lectures um they do the problem the thing is well first of all sometimes they don't but for me i really feel like it's a waste of time to go lecture go to lecture and not have my notes done like i'd much prefer to have like first of all some of the slides like for one of my classes the slides are just an addendum to the lecture like they're just pictures and things on like they they don't explain what we're talking about right so that's one thing but the other thing is i really don't like the no why'd you hit it hit it again oh uh, yeah i really don't like the um idea of going to lecture and not having my notes done from that lecture because i don't want to take notes after lecture when i have to like spam through notes instead of taking little breaks in between and it's like i'm sitting there for 80 minutes let's just get it done right like let's just get out of the way so i do what i can to get it done faster because otherwise i never get those slides done or i never get those notes done because i i know i'll just i'll just be like you know what whatever i went there i listened to them so it'll just be half-baked notes and I don't like that. I want my notes to be good. I want them to be fully baked. I want them to be like a potato, you know? It's it's important to me to have it all clean and good. History too is my worst subject. He says it helps with learning if there aren't slides. Yeah. Um. There There is never... I make potatoes for dinner. Yo, we're synced, dude. What can I say? Um, I've never... I never listen to to a professor who says this or this is better for learning. There's 50,000 people at each campus. Like, in my college, there's 50,000 people. I, there's going to be smaller and bigger ones. But, like, there's, like, thousands and thousands of people at every college. They're all going to learn differently. So You're just going to have to learn to work with different professors, which sucks. It's good to use, like, rate my professors to see what kind of professor they are and stuff. But, yeah. Also, if you can get t accommodations, that's amazing. There's accommod there's um people who get paid to take notes in some classes. And if you go to... um, That's exactly what Phoenix is saying right now. If you go to like the Office of Disab Disability Services or whatever, and you have a reason, they could get... Like, they could give you the accommodation to like get you the notes that you need, which is helpful. One time long ago, we recorded a class and sent the audio and your teacher was talking about how- Yes! Oh my god, that was history. That was social studies in my high school. I wasn't supposed to record, technically. 
I recorded that one time, and I it was before I'd asked if I could record, but I just I I was like struggling, and I need the recording to understand like what we were learning about and stuff. And he literally was just talking about how he had like 22 windows in one room of his house, and he was just and I, I thought it was so funny. I sent it to Risco and like probably Lane and some people. It was insane. I, why are you talking about the windows in your house, man? Who who knows? Who's to say? Hey, can you turn on? Can you turn on? Oh my god, I'm so good at turning things on. <clears throat> Anyway. So, oh my god, I was just thinking about how there's a, there's a thing that I would always see on TikTok that was like, oh, it's it's breakup season right now, or it's like friendship, like breakup season or whatever. Um, and I always thought that was like stupid idiot stuff, you know? just people saying things but what if that's real what if that's why everything's been so bad right now like it's just that season which sucks it's fall dude i love i love fall i love autumn i love autumn i had accommodations because my attendant nice that was nice they gave me early registration with it too nice i didn't know you attended nice maybe i did <laughs> but nice maybe maybe i should maybe like they will with the adhd like help me out you know Dude, I was driving home from campus today and all the leaves were starting to turn. And I was like, oh. Ban, ban them. Ban Risco. Mods, ban that guy. Banned for a month. Banned for at least five minutes. What the heck? <laughs> I stole that joke from Jerma. Banned for at least five minutes. What the heck, dude? You said it's overrated. I don't care if you said it's fun. You have in both hands. Makes sense. What's up, Bond? Welcome. Welcome, Bond. How you doing? Nice to see you, man. I'm glad you're around. How are you? Bond, I've been struggling with CS50 so bad right now. I haven't done it in, like, weeks <laughs> to get back into it. I'm hoping to do a little bit this Saturday, maybe. I was supposed to hang out with Barca, but now um, I'm free that day, so... Because she's busy. So I'm hoping I can get through some notes. Let's go! Let's go! Risco timed out for two minutes. That's what you get. That is what you get. Don't don't say it's overrated. Here's the thing. I, like I said, I was driving home today, and I saw the leaves were starting to turn different colors, and I was in awe. I just wanted to sit there for an hour and just look at the leaves. Dude, Autumn is so beautiful. Autumn is amazing. Autumn is, like, lovely and wonderful and amazing. Risk of sister's name is Autumn. That's why I keep saying it that way. <laughs> I love the fall though. Um, it is it is such a good time. It's lovely, man. I wish leaves change color. They don't change colors in California. Are you kidding? Wait, do you have trees there? Is that why they don't change? They don't. Do you even have trees? Or no! Ah, oh, so close. So close, man. Evergreen mostly? Is that the ones that are in Animal Crossing that are up top? So they're like the... Right? They're the ones that are like... They go... They, they're like shaped like that. Right? Is that, is that right? Okay, thank you. <laughs> 5%. Oh, that was a nice gulp. I remember... I just realized I... um. I... See cherry blossom trees sometime. I should keep track of when cherry blossom season is. I guess I never really thought about it, but every once in a while I look outside and I see um cherry blossom trees. Like every once, you know, once a year or whatever. And I guess I never really thought about it, but now that I'm playing Animal Crossing, I'm thinking about it. I understand you, my description skills are the same. <laughs> Some just lose leaves but don't change color. That's so rough. They just die for a little bit. I've been really thinking lately. I don't know why. I've been thinking about nature more. Um, like, all the weird things about nature. Like, how birds fly in a flock. Like, isn't that weird? Like, it is weird. Like, th there's things that we learned from a young age about the world. So, we didn't realize how weird they are. Or how strange or interesting or beautiful they are. Like, like uh, butterflies, right? Like, how they go into a little cocoon. That's weird. Uh, and trees losing all of their leaves and then coming back. That's weird. Birds flocking. You know, that's strange it's beautiful like that's the thing is like i'm saying it, i'm really doing bad right now it's just it's it's just like these are real living 
creatures and they're doing these strange things and it's just normal because we've grown up being told it's normal but if i if i didn't grow up being told like hey the birds are gonna fly in a v-shape and they just do that like nobody tells them to do that they just they just know to do that i'd be like hey that's f that's fucking weird man what do you mean they just do that turn to liquid <laughs> yeah right it's like oh so every once in, every once a year all the leaves from every tree the trees just know to lose all their leaves and then they all die and then somehow they just come back after a while after it's the snow's gone and starts warming up they just come back they're good it's like it's like that is weird stuff i know i sound like a gamer right now because i'm talking about nature and i'm playing a video game and i'm like oh my god isn't nature weird guys but i'm just like i don't know why lately it's just been coming to my mind where i'm like why did I like I wish I wasn't told all these and it's not even just nature It's just the nature of anything nature in general or like the nature of the human race like how we act like everything <laughs> The least gets depression. That's so real. I am gonna hate coming back from winter break. I always struggle so much then But I'm just like We just when we grow up being told all these things, I, I sometimes wish I could do a reset of my brain where I completely unlearn all of the things I've learned and get to go back and relearn it and be like, oh my God, that's so interesting. Because I, like I've said this before, I was in like a bit of a brain fog for a lot of my life. And again, this, this could be the ADHD, right? Like we don't know, but it could be other stuff too. There's a lot of other stuff it could be, but because even stuff like, I guess, anxiety or like any mental health issues or whatever can really do that to you where you're just kind of in a fog. But I didn't really think that much. Like, also, the other thing is that school is just really easy for me. So I didn't have to think much. Like, I didn't feel like I was being pushed at all. Like, I was I was in the gifted and talented pro program, as all neurodivergent kids seem to be. And, um, and that program was either too easy for me or it was way too hard where I just didn't care. Like, I remember it was too easy in uh, in elementary school. Uh, and then middle school, I had two different teachers. One of them was insanely difficult and I hated GNT with a passion. And the other one was nice and she did push me a little bit, but I only had her for a year. And then I went back to the other teacher because I don't know where she went. I was so upset when I had to go back to the other teacher because she sucked. Um, but... My main point, sorry, I'm not here to rant about some random teacher from middle school. My main point is that, um, you know, I, I, I was either, it was either too easy for me or it was so difficult that I didn't really want to try because I didn't care. Um, and I feel like that put me in a fog, right? So because of that, whenever I learn all these things, whenever I learned all these things back in the day, like about butterflies and about like elephants, like how big elephants are, that's uh, crazy to me, right? Whenever I learned all these things, it was like, I wasn't fully there thinking about it, right? I wasn't mindful about it. I wasn't very demure about it, but now I am. So now I'm like kind of mixing it up, uh, thinking about it. And I'm like, oh my God, the elephants are huge. That's awesome. I want to see one. I think I have seen one. I want to see another one. I want to see one where I'm awake during it and not in a fog. Gotta get myself tested for anxiety and ADHD. Uh, the ADHD test also tests you for depression, uh, anxiety, I think other stuff. I don't know. Not very demure, not very mindful, not very QC. I was like a grade level ahead when I stopped being homeschooled. Such a little try hard. <laughs> I, I was never homeschooled. Um, but yeah, I, was never, I cheated through a lot of classes, I'll be honest. Um, but it was only because I knew I could do it. I just didn't care, I think. Like most of the time, I, I, I wasn't like struggling. It was just like, well, the only time I really cheated where I was struggling was social studies. And that's just because I didn't care about names and dates. Like maybe I could memorize or whatever, but I just, I, it, it pissed me off. It really, that was the, the whole thing was that it pissed me off. I was tired of learning names and dates. I got, I got some issues. No, who doesn't though? Oh my god, you know what they said on my ADHD diagnosis? And Risco kind of alluded to this earlier because uh, I told them about it. On my ADHD diagnosis, it officially said that I call myself a yapster because I said that in the diet. Because the, the evaluator was like, she was a, a grad student, right? So she was young. Like it wasn't like some old person. So I was jokey with her because that's just how I act. So 
I was like, yeah, I'm a bit of a yapster. Or so I must have said it at some point. I talked to her for like three hours overall. So I don't remember everything I said to her. But because it was like two hours for the first session and then like two other sessions after that. But like I I'd, I'd said like, yeah, I'm a bit of a yapster or whatever. Like I talk too much. <laughs> As you guys can tell, I'm a streamer. And um, I, I it was it was jarring to look at this official report about my ADHD and see like at the bottom of the document, like diagnosis colon combined type of ADHD or whatever. And then to like scroll up and look at the re full report and see, yeah, Ari calls himself a bit of a yapster. <laughs> I was just like, what do you mean? <laughs> Why would you tell everyone that? Now I gotta take that to like my primary care physician and she's gonna see that and be like, oh, you're a bit of a yapster, huh? Yeah, I was gonna diagnose you with that earlier. I just, you know, I didn't want to change your life too much. <laughs> like. How am I supposed to live with that diagnosis? <laughs> Zen, you gotta tell me if your life starts getting better. <laughs> you gotta tell me if it starts picking up. I wanna know. I feel like mine's gonna. I feel like now that I'm done with the ADHD stuff. And like, I've, I'm sitting here and I feel good. I don't feel like I'm forcing myself to stream. Cause I guess stream has been a bit like that lately. I did have to force myself to start a little bit, but I feel like I'm, I feel good here. Like, I feel like at ease. I feel like I have stuff to talk about, you know? I'm not like forcing myself to make up stupid conversations or whatever, which I don't feel like I do that much, but every once in a while I'll get like kind of stuck and I'll have to like actually put an effort into what I'm talking about. But you know, I am a bit of a yapster officially diagnosed, so. It's not hard. Get away from me. Right. Now we're not winning this one. I'm just gonna say that. At the very forefront of this game. I don't wanna I don't want anyone to have any mistakes about you know, mistaken uh understandings of who I am when it comes to hexagon. I'm not good at this game. Oh that's why! I mean not why, that's how. That's how I'm not good at this game. I was showing you. I wasn't explaining why. Oh my gosh, I'm throwing. You know, it's going to sound awful after my ex broke up with me at a rough stop, but I feel like I'm in my comeback era. Uh, does it sound awful? No, I think you're right. I think this is, that's how it goes, man. It's kind of the same with me. I feel like I got through kind of a rough spot and I'm in my comeback era, dude. I'm in my what back era? Let's go, baby. Let's go. Sorry. Sorry, chat. I'm really, I'm sorry about that. I am. New season premiere of Your Life. Isn't there a uh, anime called Your Life or something? Am I alone here? There's no way. Oh, there's no way. Oh my God. There's no way I'm all alone up here. Oh, but there's two down there. Okay, we're gonna slow this down a little bit. I'm using Ellie's strat that I actually learned from one of his streams. I got an itch on my chin, bro. Ah! I got it. My headphone fell out. I lost it. I lost everything. The, the itch on my chin actually lost that for me, genuinely. That's so crazy. Can we not talk about that? I guess I'm supposed to be in my comeback era and then I just did that. Can we not talk about it, please? Can we just move on? Can we just pretend that like airplanes are in the night sky or like shooting stars or something? Please. Run it back. Thank you for the hydrate. Thanks, Anark. Appreciate you. Nice to see you in chat. Hope you're doing well. I've been drinking more water too. That's a good thing. I've been trying to force myself to. This is why I'm here instead of Ellie's stream. I feel like you're more relatable. I don't know if it's the age difference. I think, um, I think it is partly that Ellie, Ellie's stream is more, um, like he has a performance, you know? Um, I'm hip and tra Jesus. Why are you making me sound old? I'm only 20. Turning 21 in three months. I can legally drink in three months. Two months. Three months? October, November, December, I guess it's the end of December, so we'd say three months. Kind of crazy. I think Ellie has more of a, like he he's cultivated his stuff where it's all, it's all branded, right? Like he's got like, he's got channel point rewards. He's got his VTuber. He's got like all this stuff. Like not being legal. Hey, Risco, shut the hell up. <laughs> what are you, a narc? What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Why would you say that? Guys, Risco's talking- Twitch, Twitch, hey, Twitch, don't ban me. Risco's talking about me drinking in Canada when I was uh, 18, above 18. That's allowed. They, they're drinking- Okay, please. 
Mexico too. I did it in Mexico. There, it's the same thing over there. Please, Risco, shut the hell up. <laughs> you fucking narc. Um, no, but Ellie also has more of a responsibility. He has kids uh, in his chat and stuff. I do sometimes, and that's when I watch it. But you know, I feel like my, I am generally made for the teens. I'm hip and trendy with the kids, I guess. Hello, fellow kids. Um, but I try to watch it when I have to. It was great because he gives more dad or uncle vibes and you give more chill. <laughs> I don't know, older sibling vibes. I think Risco also called me their old, older sibling when they were over. I guess I'm just like that. What can I say? Kind of crazy considering I'm the younger sibling in my family. I'm just that mature, baby. Let's go. That What can I say, dude? I'm just awesome. And like, I get it for Zen because Zen's younger than me. Risco's older than me. So the fact that I f give older sibling vibes, very funny. <laughs> younger sibling gang, let's go. She doesn't come home anymore, let's go. <laughs> I miss her, dude. I'm gonna see her in two weeks. We're going zip lining with our uncle, which I'm very excited for. Definitely loud little brother vibes. Okay, for you maybe. <laughs> When I don't have to be the older sibling, I'll be the younger sibling. But I take care of my chat. I know when they need taken care of. But when I'm with you guys, it is definitely different vibes when I'm with someone in call. Right? Like right now, I'm just having a nice little chat with you. When I'm in call, I feel like I'm more chaotic. I have one sibling. I've got one sister. One older sister. Three years older than me. She's currently in her master's, doing her master's. So she's a graduate student. Which I'm gonna do too, hopefully. Fingers crossed, guys. I actually have to apply for that in July, which I'm scared for. Um, Cause I gotta get a teacher recommendation thing. And I don't know if I can ask. Guys, relax, hello? Um, I don't know if I have, I'm scared to like ask my professors. And I don't know if I should do it this semester or if I, if I should ask next, next semester. I don't know. I'm scared, man. Letter recommendation is crazy, but I'll try. Death sibling, I feel like a lot of People's younger siblings, but definitely nice because we know how to know each other right up until we want to kill each other. I feel like I do that with a lot of people. It's fun. What can I say, man? My brother's like a year and three months older. Oh, that's... Do you not know a year and three months versus a year and nine months? Bro? Okay, I guess it makes sense because three and nine equal like a year, so you're not sure if you should subscribe. Sub okay, I understand, I guess. Still very funny that you, like... I guess it's different when you have to do the math on the fly, but if it's your brother, I feel like you should just know that. <laughs> like, you should know if it's closer to a year or two years. Like, I just say my sister's three years older than me, but she's like... Like, I, if I wanted to do the math of months, you know, I would. I don't actually know how many months it would be. But that's why I don't go out saying it. Like, when I say she's older than me, I don't say she's a year and three months. I say she's, you know, exactly this many years. <laughs> He's kind of an asshole to me. So is my sister, but you know, they're family. They're family. It's the only family you got. I mean, Ellie's like my brother. I've always said that. Phoenix is like, I don't know what Phoenix is. She's like the little pet rat I have. <laughs> One sister and she's seven, seven. She's seven years older than you? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought she was like a little bit older. I like how Fix has nothing to say about me calling her my pet rat. <laughs> I'm glad you agree. I'm glad we're on the same page. Oh crap. Oh crap. Ah <laughs> oh, dang it. Ah oh, dang it. Oh no, Phoenix is re-rolling. I don't like the sound of that. I gotta redo this uh, channel point system at some point. I know I've said it before, but again, I haven't even had the energy to stream, so cut me some slack, guys. Do 10 push-ups, there it is. I, I Listen, I knew it. I knew the second, I, I shouldn't have yapped. This is what I get for talking too much, all right? I'm sorry, it's a medical condition. All right, we'll see if we can do the 10 push-ups in between this, because uh, I'm first, so I think I can. 10 push-ups, easy. I haven't worked out much lately, so I actually am kind of glad you did it because I, I, my muscles are starting to like fade. 
I wanna, I wanna, I wanna work out soon. Hopefully, maybe this weekend. Maybe we'll try. There's a, there's a Barca game. I'm hoping I can do it alongside that. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Let's go, baby. Wow. Can I get a round of applause? Or a round of applause. Any furries in the chat? Let's go. I'm supportive. One year and three months. But I've always just associated him with being two years older due to grades and birth years. Okay. That makes Oh, yeah. I guess grades make sense. Same for my sister. She's three years older in grades. I almost tried to get Elias to start working out and to prove that he was. Mon sent me a video of him doing push-ups. Dang. I would lose my mind if someone videoed me doing push-ups. I never want anyone on camera to ever see me doing push-ups. <clears throat> I don't know why that was funny to me. Um, I've definitely videoed myself doing push-ups before just to um, see my form and stuff when I was starting out. It's good. Kind of crazy that she's sending you videos of that though. Did he look hot doing it? Was he sweating? Can I see it? <laughs> um. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's so funny. You didn't save it? Rookie move. You clearly don't flirt with your friends enough. Yoink. Yoink. I saw that one was like half broken already. No, it's mine! No, it's neither of ours! I'm dead! There's like no one alive? No way. You're joking. Here we go. No way with that, bro! What the heck are you talking about? That was a full send, brother. Give it, give it to me before I get hit. Oh my gosh, thank you. All right, we're gonna do like a couple little taps. Like that, easy. My stream lag was so bad that before I reloaded, Ari was about to start doing push-ups and after I reloaded, Ari was done. <laughs> How's it going, Phoenix? Thank you for hopping in. I think she's gonna go watch Ellie. <laughs> I honestly didn't expect to have people in my chat today, which was fine. I thought that, um, because Ellie, like, I know a lot of people here watch Ellie, so I was like, if people want to go watch him, that's fine. But, um, I was expecting to have a chill, nice little quiet stream where I would just yap away. Um, but, um, thank you guys so much for being here. Appreciate you, because I know all of you are a fan of him, and I don't mind if you go see him. Good luck with your stuff, Phoenix. Lurking both of them busy. No worries, dude. Good luck. She did say she was cleaning her desk and stuff. That's why she can't play with me right now. My record is 70 push-ups, but I've declined since then. I have never tried to push my- Well, no, that's a lie. I tried once to push myself to get as many push-ups as possible because they had a military thing at my high school and you could win, like, a mouse and stuff. Um, I went with this girl that I was friends with and she was like, she's tiny. Like, she- <laughs> She didn't have much weight to push up. <laughs> and I said that to her. Like, I'm not being rude. Like, that is just- Like, she is like- She was a small person. And, um- she got like 50 push-ups easy and I was doing it next to her and I got like 25 Like I, I I was not working out back then like I said that was back when like my parents were like don't do weights You're gonna like die. You're gonna be a little shorty little guy. So um So I did like 25 maybe and then I just looked at the guy and he looked at me and he gave me the prize that you would give to like someone who got higher because he didn't want and me to feel bad, which is like, I didn't really care. I was like, oh, good for her. She got 50. Like, she did the full mission or whatever. But it was just really funny to me that he was like, he didn't want to hurt my masculinity. And I was like, I got a free prize. Let's go. That's awesome. Another win, by the way. GG's. I'm not short. I'm not sure. I'm 69 inches, dude. I get all the pussy. Sorry. That was so gross. <laughs> that, was, that was disgusting. I only hit my record because it was in Taekwondo and I was under a lot of pressure to, fi to finish? You're not- Oh no! <laughs> Sorry. Um, I- Yeah, I- I've never really pushed myself too much with that. I- I like working out. I like- Uh, let's do solos, I guess, because we're not with anyone. 
Oops. Wrong buttons. So we got all the knockout wins done. That's nice. Only an hour 20 in. That's not bad at all. So we, I think we did, we did do some discipline stuff in my martial arts class. You're 5'9"? I am. Officially. I had to, I checked during my physical this year because I wasn't sure if it was 5'9 or 5'10. I honestly, I think it might still be closer to, like, close to 5'10, but I, I don't think, you know. You're taller? I have an aura about me that makes me taller. I'll say that. I feel. I'm just gonna throw it out there. That's not me bragging, that's me being genuine. I feel like Risco realized when they saw me that, yeah, I've got that aura. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Isn't Elias 5'10"? You definitely as tall as him, though. Uh, is he? 5'10"? Let me up, please. Let me up, please. Okay, almost there. There we go, baby. Oh, okay. It was a good try. We'll, we'll, we'll do it again. This is the way you're supposed to play it. It's just that I fell when I shouldn't have fell, fallen. Jimmy. Jimmy fallen. Oh, oh. We're good. And... Oh my god, I tr I'm stuck. Let's go back. 420 plays it top right. Can you guys see it? I don't know if you could. You couldn't. It, it was a qualified. Ah, oh, I'm so bad right now. I've never done this bad. This is... It's not that... It's not that hard. Is at least 5'10"? I really... Because I am 5'9". I did, like, check. Like, it's not... I'm not lying. I wouldn't lie... If I was gonna lie about my height, I wouldn't say 5'10". Or, look, 5'9", Risco. <laughs> I, trust me. I'm 5'9 and, like, 3 fourths or half. Okay, well, I don't know. Like, 3 fourths or half. I don't know. I don't know exactly how tall I am. I just know what they told me at the physical, which was 5'9". So I just went with that. I could be 5'9 and 3 quarters, too. I don't know. I'm gonna see you in real life one day and you're gonna be like this to me. You're gonna be like this height when I'm standing. You're gonna be like this to me. <laughs> oh, that's a nice grab. Why don't you just stay on this the entire time, the swinging thing? I <laughs> ain't that short. We don't know. We don't know. Who's to say, you know, who's to say? I got proof, bro. You're talking like, like you're talking like a Cali surfer, dude. Bro, bro, nah, bro, nah. I'm not that. I ain't that short. I got proof, bro. I got proof. <laughs> That's really funny. Thanks for that. Thanks for the laugh, son. Going through a lot right now, you know. You know, Ellie's live, and I can't even watch. It kind of sucks. That's <laughs> yeah, fun. I don't want to spoil the game for myself. I kind of want to play. If it's like not open world, I really do think I, I will play. I'm maybe not on stream and maybe not anytime soon. It could be in like two or two, two, three or five, seven years from now. I'm not, I really am not the type to play games new generally, unless they come to Game Pass. I don't like spending money on games, even though I love gaming. Oh, I could have jumped. I forgot that the jump is higher now, so you don't have to be as scared as like maybe the past. Oh, I almost killed myself. In game. Well, I made an attempt. I'll try it again. Hey, you know what? You saved that guy. You know what game you should play, Tiny Glade? Hey, why are you sponsored by this game, Ris Risco? This is like the you've been, it's like it's nonstop. You really are sponsored, I think. I I believe. I believe in it. I believe in nothing. I believe in nothing, call up. Bubble trouble. Some points. Let's get some points on the board. Let's see if we can get three more wins in solos before we end. The duos and squads, I'll um, do probably off stream because I feel like I'll either have to do it with Ellie. Hollow Knight Sunday, I have a uh, concert Sunday. Risco, I post my schedule on my server. You should check my server. You could check my Discord events. You could check my uh, uh, content announcements. You could check anything, really. It's all there. I'm very open about what when I am streaming and what I'm streaming. And sometimes I cancel, but otherwise I'm very open about it. Dang, I was close. 
I almost jumped on that thing, not the yellow one. No, I have a concert Sunday and a concert Friday. And uh, I actually said that earlier in the stream, and if you cared enough, you would have been here to listen. <laughs> and to, to know, and to hear me. But you know, I guess you just don't care enough. I guess I'm just not enough for you. <laughs> Let's see if we can... Okay, there's none up there. Ooh, we're getting real close. Uh, and I think this one's about to run out of points in a second. Yeah. What do we got? I don't like that one that much. Oh, easy. Light work. Where do I find that content announcements? Is that the top? You might have the channel turned off because you can do that in Discord now. So check that you have all my channels unlocked. I'm at five up once and I was taller than him. He's like five, six according to Google. This is also winter 2022, so I was shorter, but still. I forgot that you're young enough that two years ago still means that you have growths to go. <laughs> I don't know if you've publicly said how old you are. I also don't know if I know how old you are. But it is kind of funny to me. Because you are like saying it right now that you... <laughs> you've not publicly said, okay. I don't know if I even know, but you are also clearly saying maybe I do know. I feel like I know, but um, but you are also clearly saying here that you are young enough that two years ago you were shorter. Because like two years ago for me, I think I was the same height because I was what, 18 then? So all the same, all's good, all's the same in love and war, right? That's what they say. Oh, hey, I, hey, I was looking for you. You were, uh, you scared me. What you doing? Oh, the green one, huh? Yeah, I don't like green stuff either. That's fair. I told you my first time modding for you, but I don't know if you remember, so I should keep track. I feel like I remember what the age was. I don't know if you've had a birthday since then. <laughs> I also could be mixing you up with other people. I'm not good with age. I only remember Ellie's because... Because <laughs> I... Because... He just gives me so much ammo to make fun of him for his age. Like... If he wasn't so self-conscious about it, I I really would have nothing to say because he's not old or anything. But you can't tell him I said that because it's so easy to make fun of him. Heart, 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 please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. We're friends. We're friends. We're friends. We're not friends. I lied. I lied. I lied. <laughs> I lied. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Kill my friend. I'll kill you. I'll kill him. You kill me. That's what I get. That's what I get for starting a fight. <laughs> I thought you were like 18 or like 19 maybe. I'm 20. I'm just a silly 20 year old. I'm almost 21. Gonna be crazy. Then again, to be fair, I lost two years because of COVID too. So at heart, I am kind of 18 going on 19. I feel like. I definitely felt, dude, I felt so young going back to high school and being like, oh, I'm 17 right now, about to turn 18. And I was like, I feel 15. I feel like I'm I, I'm not old enough, dude. Like, genuinely, it was, it was rough out there. Like, socially, physically, even like, like, in, like, like, it's like socially, like in terms of mental, like, in terms of social interactions, physically in terms of body, and then also just... In terms of like some other thing that I just can't verbalize right now. You know what I mean? You don't know what I mean because I couldn't verbalize it, but you know what I mean. It was just weird. It was a weird time. I hated myself in senior year, most of all. <laughs> Cause that was the year that I was just trying to figure everything out again because I was in such a crazy place. It was such a weird time. And I just had no idea what was happening. We'll have to have some Slay Girly Pop Talks more. Because, like, you chill. Oh, thank you. Yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I'm trying to spend more time with people I actually care about. Because I always had this issue where I would just spend time with anyone, right? Like, I just, I was just like, well, you know, whatever. Like, it's a person, you know, why not spend time with them? But I feel like I should spend more time with people I actually care about spending time with. Like... You know, like people in chat, you guys are all chill, you know? 
Like, obviously, I want to spend time with my mod. I want to spend time with Briscoe more. Which I have been. I have been. I've been trying. What the heck, dude? Not slay. Not pussy slay. Okay. All right. I'm throwing. I'm throwing, but it's not really throwing because I, I swear to God, you can't lose this game. It's not an easy game to lose. Uh, shut up, Briscoe. That's, that's a big word. L? Okay. <laughs> is, is that guy all the way at the front? There's no way, right? No, there is a way. It's a bot. That's the way. Com complexicon? Complex icon 9 9047. That's a bot. A Ford collector. This guy likes cars. Hey, did you watch Ford vs. Ferrari? Oh, he's dead. I'm scared to start talking to people because I'm scared that people are going to be like, oh, I wasn't actually like that close. I was just being friendly or something. I've definitely had that. I've definitely had that fear of like, oh, what if I love someone more than they love me? Like, what if I'm like, whatever, 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 whatever. Um, But this is where that quote comes in from New Girl that it's just like, calm down, man. It's just life. It's just life. You just got to spend time doing your shit, you know? You should love with all your heart, I think. It's hard to do that sometimes. It's not easy. My mic is going everywhere. Let's just tighten up. It's not easy to just love with all your heart, right? It's not easy to just like people and to just be friendly and just to get close and then feel not close after. All that stuff is difficult. I've had people who thought they were way closer to me than I was, than I thought we were. That's also really sucky because I feel bad because it's just like, I'm not, you know, like, hey, man, I'm not like that. Like, I'm not like that with you. I'm not going to tell you everything about my life. Like, I don't care about you like that. Like, I hate you. Like, get out of my life. Not like that. <laughs> but, you know, it's it's a little weird when it's like, oh, this person thinks that we're best friends and I have not thought about them in, like, three days. Like, that sucks. And it sucks the other way around, too. But it's... Wow, I guess that. I was... Honestly, I was just trying to use that to boost up and I guess the... But yeah, it's, it's just life, man. It's just life. You'll find the people... I did know. I guess that shit. That's crazy. You'll find the people who are meant to be in your life, you know? Give it to me! Ah, oh, I'm gonna be out of here. Ooh. Alright, well, give me this one. Please! Thank you. Got it. So this help me with that though thought process is that you may love them more intensely, but you love each other the same. Eh. That's for you. <laughs> for me, it's just eh, whatever. Even if we don't love each other the same, even if they don't care about me, it's like, where am I gonna put all this love? Where am I gonna put all this like all this time and energy? As long as they're not treating me shit, or they're not being completely like they just don't care about me, like that's different, right? Like there's a balance, I guess there there is like something there. I don't know. I don't care. It's just just there is no one rule for a social interaction right like uh, like i said i've been watching new girl like crazy right jess and nick are such a weird friendship and then they turn into a weird relationship and eventually they fix that relationship which is it's still not normal like there's they there is no one way to do things you know sometimes you want things to be a romantic comedy sometimes you want things you want friendships to be like this perfect thing you want it all to be equal you want it all to be neat and proper you want to have a specific way to deal with stuff and you deal with that stuff all the time exactly that way and it's all good that's not what life is that's not what humans are we're not easy like that we're not robots that's the whole reason we're humans that's why we're special because we're creative and we're weird and we're unique so it's never going to be easy like that there's never gonna be like some like oh they said this so they mean this like it's never linear like that and what you're saying about like getting panic attacks over minor inconveniences like i understand that and i i even with me saying this stuff i also deal with the same stuff and like apparently i only have moderate levels of anxiety according to uh, the adhd evaluation but like I don't know about all that because it's pretty bad at times but also they they kind of they rank stuff based off of how much it, they, they rank stuff more about how much it affects you getting work done versus how much it affects you mentally and you know emotionally so that's the issue with mental health in america is we care more about getting work done than than distress um productivity over distress but um you know 
I got sidetracked again. Y hey, this is what you guys are used to. <laughs> I can't have a conversation and just stick to one topic. That's just not enough topics, you know? I gotta have a harem of topics. <laughs> what was I saying? Nope. Nope. But yeah, you're gonna have panic attacks because it's not it's not a logical thing. It's like that's how you, that's how you were born. Maybe that's how maybe you dealt with stuff growing up. Like it does. I don't know. Ha mental illness is a it's a biopsychosocial thing, right? It has biological factors. It has psychological factors. It has sociological factors. That's how it works. So it's it's not something you can just be like, oh, I can't believe I have this, even though life is just life, right? It's gonna like life is gonna it's gonna be crazy and it's gonna make you feel like shit and it's gonna send you down a panicky rabbit hole. That's how it works. And you shouldn't feel bad about that. My headphones are flying out my ears right now. Not now, please. Um, but you know, when you can, when you're able, you should just make a little effort, just a tiny effort. Just when you're freaking out, just to be like, you know what? That's life. You know, things will work out. If they haven't worked out yet, that's because you're not at the end yet. <laughs> like things will work out. But no, I get it. I get it, son. It's real. I actually wish I had younger siblings. I know that people joke in my chat like, oh, you'd be a terrible parent and stuff like that. But I do think I'd actually... I would benefit and I think, you know, whoever I was parenting or like um, just trying to take care of would benefit. Like now, now, not, not when I first started streaming, not stuff like that. You know, I was like, I've grown a lot in the last, I feel like two years. Um, even like, you know, like I said, I'm more chaotic when I'm around other people, uh, or when chat is a certain way, like there's certain people in chat that help me be like, or I'm playing a game that makes me feel like I gotta be chaotic, stuff like that. But I'm just like, that's just my stream personality, right? But. I feel like I have matured a lot in real life when I like as as Ari not as Ari the Ace and you know it makes me happy and I feel like like I want to like if there's one thing that I feel like my life would be more fulfilling because of it's cuz it's like having someone who I'm watching out for like that feels that feels like a fulfilling life to me to ah, to take care of people <laughs> is like what I want my life to be. Maybe not as a job, because I like money. <laughs> and I feel like taking care of people is not something that makes you a lot of money, unfortunately. But like, you know, doing it in my fr spare time. I feel like that's, like that's part of why I enjoy streaming. Like sure, before I was like all about that fame and stuff. And I was like, oh, what if I become a big Twitch streamer? But I've said that I've been over that dream for a while. Like, it doesn't seem that fun. I say a lot of stuff that could come off in a bad way or people could take it a bad way if they want to. I don't feel like dealing with all that stuff. I don't feel like dealing with the politics of it all. So, but it's still nice to be able to like check in on people and see how everyone's doing and be like, and have these talks. It's nice. Yeah, like an older sibling. I'm glad. I try my best. I'm watching out for my kids, dude. <laughs> And older siblings nice because you can bully your like younger siblings too, right? Like I bully Risco like crazy. Mostly because I hate them, but you know. But we can say it's for a nice reason. I'm building character. I'm making Risco funny. Sure. You know, whatever you gotta tell yourself. <laughs> Super nervous for NMC because I'm low-key scared for you. I felt Jenny safe with you and Elias. Yeah, that's another thing. I I didn't know that I'd have to watch out for you guys. And I was so glad Ducky was there. So I could keep an eye on you guys emotionally. And Ducky could keep an eye on you guys, uh, like, physically. Like, where we were going and stuff. Because I hate figuring out where we're going. But I knew, like, first of all, we were with Barca. Who I know uh, I knew I'd have to look out for. Her mom was very clear about her not leaving my side. So I knew about that. And then, um... And then Ducky, I knew would be kind of quiet, potentially. So I was like, you know, I don't know. It was it was an interesting group to go with, but I knew, I'm, I'm glad that you felt safe. I knew that we'd have to, like, look out for you. And I felt good having Elias there, too, because 
he just he gives off that aura right he's like he's he's like such a tall guy and he just looks good like he's a good looking guy so he just and he looks like normal like he doesn't have a neck tattoo with a knife right so he looks kind of normal like he's not he doesn't look like all like me and risco i feel like um so i don't know he just gives off that vibe of like okay like no one's gonna mess with you know no one's gonna mess with elias He's kind of able to just kind of like exist, I feel like. Maybe it's just because he's white though. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Maybe that's why he made sense to like he fit in in New York. It was good times though. I forgot you had a neck tattoo. It's been hidden more. I forget sometimes because it, um, with the, uh, oh, we can go like two more forward. Maybe we can't. Sorry, I got greedy. But, uh, with the, like, hair growing out and also just me wearing hoodies a lot more recently which i'm trying to stop doing i want to get new clothes and stuff but with all of that stuff um the neck tattoo has been really hidden and i honestly don't know if some of my professors know i have it this semester i feel like they might have last semester um oh yeah we definitely go forward more uh no we go forward more one more one more nice oh the no <gasps> it's all the way at the end let's go on first oh my god i never get first on tiptoe Let's go. But yeah, um, I don't think my professors know, cause it's it. But it's nice that it's hidden, right? Like it, it. When I go to job interviews and stuff, it's kind of like you can kind of tell, but it's really not that big a deal. Like I really don't think anyone's gonna care about this. Like sure, they see this, but I don't even think they notice it. And the rest of oh, wrong side. The rest of it's hidden. The rest of, it's this side. The rest of it's hidden here. The mirroring got me. I was actually right the first time. Um, the rest of it's hidden by the hair, so it's like, it doesn't really matter. When I tie it back into a man bun, which is the plan at some point, then it might be more visible, which is fine. I'll take it, you know? I don't mind the... Oh, that was really easy. I don't mind if... if I, like, I I got it knowing how it would look to employers. If I need to, I'll wear a turtleneck. Have a go on that, no worries. If I need to, I'll wear a turtleneck, and it covers most of it. It doesn't cover, like, the little bit at the, like, chin here, but that's fine. Um, had to clear my throat. Ooh, roll off again, okay. You and Ellie are both growing out your hair from man buns. Truly, you're the same person. I j again, again, this is not a joke. We both started doing this at exactly the same time without talking about it. We both just randomly decided to start growing out our hair. And we both were like, we're trying to go for man buns. And I genuinely don't know what happened. I don't know how it happened. And it's not like a bit, it's not like some weird streamer thing where I'm trying to make some fun story or whatever. I genuinely, this is the psychic link thing where we just, we just do things and things just happen. And somehow we're just always on the same page <laughs> and we're always doing the same stuff. It's so weird to me. But you know, anyway, this is how it goes. Like, we're different enough that we can't piss each other off a bunch. Like, we're, you know, good. Like, we, we get along. Because <laughs> I feel like if you're too close, too similar to someone, you're not going to get along. But, I don't know. We just happen to do the same stuff. Like, we just happen to have that psychic link. It's just crazy. And we just happen to look the same, too. I want to go back to Canada, man. I want to go back. I was telling Barca I want to go back. I was like, what if we go? What if we just go to Canada? It's never going to happen because of our parents and stuff. But I was like, what if we just go to Canada? I want to go. I miss it. I miss Daisy. I miss Daisy's family. They were Daisy's mom was so sweet to me. She was lovely. Um, I loved meeting her. Should have jumped off earlier. That's my fault. I was, I was thinking it. Should have jumped off earlier. That's 100% on me. Right back. We might not get three wins today, but let's try to get one in solo. Probably gonna be meeting Daisy in roughly two years. Have you still not met her? Have you never met her? It's 
somehow I meet my walking steps goal today. I didn't get up out of my chair right now. I'm just sitting here, but that's fine. You know, appar apparently that's just how it goes. If you go in two years, can you let me know? Because I might, I might fly out with you, actually. I'm not even joking. Mari's <laughs> Mari invited you to her wedding? That's awesome. I don't think I'm invited to that. I haven't talked to her in ages. <laughs> so, you know, you guys have fun, I guess. <laughs> I used to talk to her more. I miss Mari. She's great. Um, I have a lot of anxiety with, with her. I don't know why. <laughs> no disrespect to her. She's great. Genuinely. I just, I, I feel, uh, maybe it's like, I don't know, her sense of humor. I don't know. I just, I, I, it's like a me problem where I get anxious. <laughs> it's it's a hundred percent on me, but I feel like I've gone quiet because of that. And, um, yeah. Welcome back, Zen. How you doing? Did you get more snacks? <laughs> I have so much work to do after the stream. I might have to pick up some snacks. I don't know what snacks though. I kind of want to go to Wawa. It's been a while since I just went out, drove to Wawa. It's been, it's difficult for me to just drive off to Wawa now because my parents are home. So they'll like hear me go out and I'm just like, yeah, guys. <laughs> I always have to warn them like, and they're, they're always like, where are you going? And I'm like, oh yeah, like I live with other people. Like I, I can't just walk out on my own. Because when I was at dorm, I'd just like go out. Talk to Leon, her fiance a few times and he's super chill. Oh, nice. I'm gonna wear heels tomorrow. My friends are gonna be mild mildly pissed. Why is that? Pissed about you wearing heels? Pissed about you slaying? What, a girl isn't allowed to slay anymore? Come on. What is this? Cancel culture. <laughs> oh, that's funny to me. Anyway. They're all like 5'2. Oof! I forgot that girls are short. Generally. Shorter. Girls and Riscos. Sorry, Risco never, like, anytime I think of short people, like, Risco's one of the first people that come to mind. Every single time. It's so crazy. I don't know why. <laughs> every, every time without fail. It's like, oh, are we talking short? I know who, I know who we're bringing up now. I know who we're talking about. We well, can't really not accept it, Risco. It's just, you're, like... Risco's, uh, 4'8", actually. One centimeter taller than I thought I was. That's great, man. Hey, that's awesome. That's... You know what? Beggars can't be choosers, you know? You would be a really happy homeless person. You'd be like, hey. Got one more dollar than I had before. This is a win. You know? That's... I think that's where that... Um phrase comes from beggars can't be choosers <laughs> for a little i hate it sometimes because the gender doesn't gender like this no you definitely can gender like that there's short kings out there or whatever i don't know if you're going for like a more mask look or just like uh what is it ambivalent it's not ambivalent and andro androgynous not ambivalent i can't tell if you're joking or not no i am sorry risk goes five six actually my bad Four six. Did I say five six? I meant four six. Oh yeah, you're five foot on the dot. You're shorter than Lane. You're shorter than Ducky. You're shorter than me and Elias, of course. Um, just in case you were wondering. In case you forgot, just letting you know. <laughs> oh, that's a crazy. That's a crazy response. That is a crazy, crazy response. Can we go to the right? Because I think it's to the right, guys. I'm not gonna guess. Yeah, yeah. Now it could be forward right now. Okay, it's not forward, so it's gonna be one more at least because I know it is. Oh, I lied. Well, it was one more. I think they're supposed to go forward like right there, and I don't think they are. Yeah. Yep. Mhm. Mm yeah, that's my fault. That's my fault for falling. If I hadn't fallen, they wouldn't know that that way couldn't cut off. I shouldn't have gotten greedy. My 23-year-old sister's four nine. She's 23. Dang.
None of the women on my mom's side surpass 5-4. <laughs> Again, you gotta have some aura. I feel like the you gotta have like a little bit of, you know, aura points or whatever they call it. How many aura points did I lose when I got cheated on? How many aura points did I gain when I... I don't know. <laughs> I never... I don't like t trends. <laughs> not to sound like all... Um, I'm not like other girls, but... <laughs> a lot like tiktok trends piss me off more than anything it's not anything about tiktok or the culture of tiktok or anything it's more about the fact that there's two mil two billion people on that app i almost said two million there's like two billion people on that app and everybody just wants attention every single goddamn but it's maybe it is about the culture of tiktok i'd said it wasn't it is but it's not about like the fact that it's like teenagers and, like i'm not roasting the younger generation this time or anything like that i'm saying that the the way TikTok is built and the way we've grown up and the way that Gen Alpha has grown up, everybody wants attention. So everyone just says the same exact thing over and over again. And it's annoying. I'm tired of it. I don't need everyone to make the same joke 15 times in a comment for me to understand. Like, you can watch a video and you can just not comment. That's also an option. You don't need likes on your comment. You don't need to say the same thing that everyone's saying. Just like, like the most notorious version of this was Doja Cat, where she would post something weird and every single, every single comment, every single comment would be, oh my God, Doja, like who let you post like this? Like who, <laughs> like, oh my God, Doja, did someone hack you? Like, oh my God, Doja, like, I can't believe you're doing this. And it's like, bro, relax, all right? She just posted a funny video. You don't all have to say the same thing 1,500 times. Sorry, anyway. <clears throat> I think I have some aura. No. you. Th well, no, you think you have some aura. That's true. You think that you have some aura. That's for sure. 100% you think you do. I agree with that. Short guys can absolutely slay. 100%, dude. Very, very, very mindful. Yeah, I stopped using TikTok before that started, which helped. I'm really slouching in my chair right now. Jeez, I just looked over. Um, yeah, I, I, um, I used TikTok a little bit when that was happening, and I would see it, and I would be like, "What the hell is Demir?" And then, um, and then Barca watched a video on YouTube that was explaining TikTok trends because neither of us use tiktok and uh she told me what it meant and i was like okay and then i went on social i went on tiktok a little while later and it was still happening and i was like okay i'm tired of this and i barely use it and i was getting tired of it so imagine if you actually use it ain't that crazy can i get this oh i couldn't i was right there oh man oh I oh jeez oh jimmy jimmy D crickets oh my god i'm trash at everything right now man not as bad as this guy, though. Never mind. Shouldn't have spoken. Shouldn't have spoken. I really should just stay in my lane, because I like this blue area more than anything. And I don't know why I even left it. This is my home. Like, it's got access to a lot of greens here. So, I like this area more than more than the other areas. <gasps> Come here. Thank you very much. <gasps> Whoa! You did that really nicely. Okay. Please press the button, thank you. Uh, press the butt. And last one. Easy. Light work. Proudly don't use TikTok. I'm gonna put it in a hidden apps folder at some point. I don't delete it because one of my friends sends me TikToks once in a while and I like uh, getting stuff from her, but otherwise, gotta delete it. I'll watch the show on Instagram Reels too. That too! Gonna put that in the hidden apps folder too. They both have timers on them for zero minutes. And I only turn the timer off if I really, really, like if I consciously make the effort to turn the timer off, I know I have to use it. Um, But if I, you know, if I don't, then if I don't have the timer, I'll just click on it without even thinking about it. So I have that timer just as an extra gateway and then it allows me to kick in my discipline. And then that's when I'm like, okay, I'm good. I won't use it. But again, same thing for Instagram. I, I want to get things that people send me. Like, Ellie sends me reels. Phoenix. Like, I want to see those things. Risco sends me reels. They've stopped a lot more recently, but they send me reels. Had the space to read outside in the morning. I was talking to my mom about getting bug candles. Like, anti-bug candles. Um, We haven't yet. That'd be nice, though. I really wish we could. 
That'd be pretty sick. I have a lot of Discord notifications. What happened? Oh, there's that. Oh, there's that. Okay, okay. Gotcha. I doom scroll. I need to stop. You should put a timer. If you have discipline, you should put a timer. If you don't have discipline, you should have someone you know put a timer, like your mom or someone. Or if there's a way to do a virtual timer, uh, just send me the way to do it and I'll put a timer for you and I'll keep the code. And uh, if you ever need me to turn off the timer, I won't. So, you know, you have that if you need that. <laughs> That's what I would do for Barsev back in the day. But the iPhone uh, timers don't work properly. I swear to God. Because I would set timers and ch like she would just be able to break through them. I have a Google phone. Mm. I'm sure there's... Mm. I'm not sure actually. There should be a way to do parental controls over the internet. I feel like, I don't know why there wouldn't be. I'm sure there's some in the settings. Being home alone ups my productivity and makes me stay on my phone. Are you, you're home alone right now? Also, aren't you getting a job? Isn't that the plan? Did you start applying? Cause I know you said you were going to start or you did start. Okay, that's nice. I have to start applying to internships soon. I think this Saturday I might start, which is a really scary notion, if I'm being honest. Um, I don't know why, but the second I see the word application or like apply, I freak out and I just can't do it. And I don't know where it is. Um, and I wish I could, because I, I, I need jobs and I need internships and I need all that stuff. And I'm so far ahead right now and I didn't want to say anything earlier, but oh my God. Boys, no way. Is this a false mountain win? Let's go. I went under the mountain, under the crown, but I did it. Let's go, dude. Cracked out of my mind. There's an app I have that locked my phone down so much and it sucked. Gotcha. Heard back from no one. I kind of given up, which is really not what I should be doing. Dude, try harder. You got to try more. You're going to just take re rejection. Well, you're just going to take it. You're just going to sit, sit and take it and give up. No, man. Come on. You got to keep trying. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to apply to hundreds of internships before I get one, if I'm being honest. It's kind of scary. Just a little bit scary how it works. I'm a little bit worried. Ooh, nice nameplate. What am I at right now? 52? We went up to 52 from what? Was it 38? I feel like it was 38 when we started, maybe? I feel like we definitely got 40. Yeah, I feel like it was 38. I feel like we got 39 onwards, so I could 100% the fame pass potentially on my own time. Uh, we're not done yet. We got one solo. We're going to keep going. Getting close to being done with everything. Destroy objects and knockout. Oh, I got to play more knockout then. That sucks. And qualifying explore. Okay. I start my intuition for my job the 15th. Okay, and I'm scared. I'm sure you'll be fine. What's the job? What is it? I feel like you might have told me before, but what is it? You'll be okay. It's orientation. Orientation is like the easiest thing. Thank you for the hydrate. I was just about to drink, Anarch, so appreciate that. Thanks. Um, orientation is the easiest part. All you gotta do is listen. And I know you struggle with that. Because <laughs> you were saying... um. That you can't focus on lecture, but you know, it'll be it'll be okay. It'll be okay. We all gotta do it, right? Everyone everyone gets through it somehow. And there's other people who also struggle with listening and stuff like you. So, like I do, and I've gone through like orientation stuff before. Oops, for new jobs. Oh, you can jump up on there now without grabbing it. Very cool. Um, front end at Walmart. Very. Very fun. I honestly don't mind cashiering. I don't like seeing how much money the company makes and I none of it goes back to my pocket. That pisses me off every time. Um, but I do like working front end. I feel like it's nice to interact with customers, right? Because it's like, oh, you're helping someone. Um, applying to another job right now. I really need a push. Yeah, do it. Let's go. Do it right now during the stream. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Please, thank you. How'd you read Target as Walmart? Did I say Walmart? I meant Target. I read Target. 
they're the same thing. Whatever. You know what I meant. <laughs> I did. I didn't realize I said Walmart out loud. Because I read Target and I imagined the red. Like the red color. The red uh, Target symbol. I don't know. I don't know how I did that. Whoopsies. Guys, I'm just a goofy goober. What can I say? Just a goofy goober. Concert tomorrow, man. I got so much work to do before it, but I'm excited. I'm a little bit nervous. Because I don't know how to act during a concert. You know? Like, I went to one concert and I was alone, and it felt really weird to just be like, yeah, you know, like, it feels weird, like, I feel self-conscious. I'm like, what if someone is looking at me and they're like, why are you dancing like that? You know? I get self-conscious. And I look at other people and I'm like, it's really weird that we're just standing here, like, listening to music and going like, like, even watching people dance on, like, in general, watching people dance is so awkward to me sometimes. Like, I like dancing. I'm a, I was a dancer and I like dancing just freestyle and I love all that stuff. But sometimes when I like watch people dance on like uh, in TV shows and stuff, especially, I just get like secondhand embarrassment. I don't know why. Thanks for the clips and jackass. <laughs> this prick. Oh my gosh. One banana, two coconut. Two coconuts, one banana. I'm just gonna. What if I just don't count and I just rely on other people? Let's see if that works. Uh, three? Oh, it's over here. I guess there's three, three coconut. Did not realize that. I was just showing you. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Freaking jackass. I'm gonna not count. I'm just gonna rely on everyone else. I'm gonna sheep method this. Sheep method. What was I saying? Yeah, so I'm a little nervous about the concert because I'm going with Barca and I feel like like I know she's not gonna like judge me But I'm like, <laughs> I'm so awkward. I don't know I couldn't jump That genuinely I was trying to go for the banana because I felt like more people were there. I couldn't jump Someone grabbed me and I couldn't jump Not my fault this time. Let's try again. I killed someone with me, but you were wrong too. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm excited about the concerts. I'm excited for the rare occasions. They made a new song, and the tour is for that song. And or not a new song. They made a new album. Again, can't speak English today. They made a new album, and the tour is for that album. So like the first half of their set list is just songs from the album. I think. I looked through the set list so I could make sure I knew what songs to listen to so I could like sing along and stuff. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be real good. I'm excited. That album is really good, dude. Every single song banger. Banger after banger after banger. You guys should check if they're coming to like a city near you. I know they already toured a decent amount. Like I think they went to Canada and stuff. So I don't know if they're gonna, I don't know how much more they're touring and I don't know where else they're going. But I would recommend their music. I would say you should, you know. I mean, they had one song blow up on TikTok, but my favorite thing is that they didn't try to make more TikTok songs. Like I feel like they have one song maybe. I don't know if it's from the newest album or from the second one, but, but, um, sorry. Just burped and just kept talking like an old man. Um. <laughs> I feel like they had one song from either their newest album or the second one that was kind of like a radio song. Like it was made to be played on the radio and stuff. Like it was made to be like a pop song, but everything else just hits, man. And it's actually, it feels like there's passion behind it, being the lyrics and everything. Do you use ear protection when you go to concerts? So here's the thing. The first one I went to, because I've only been to two. First one I went to was too big of a venue because there really weren't that, like it was not packed. Then again, it was like in a um, in a casino type thing. It was in Atlantic City. So it was like a casino hotel type thing and they had like a big stage. And in the back of it was a bar. So um, I guess that's why they didn't want it to be packed so that you could still stand in the back and get drinks and everyone could hang out. And then if you're up front, you can kind of like be more 
you know, kind of hectic. Um, so that time I really didn't need ear protection because it was such a big concert, like venue. It was like, <laughs> like there was no point. <laughs> it really would have been, it was fine. I had no issues. Now the second one was this tiny bar in the middle of f f fucking nowhere, New Jersey. Like there was, it was tiny, it was packed. There's a lot of white people and they were very racist to me and my friends. Um, I remember we got in line and there was a group of white girls in front of us and one of them was wearing a clear backpack and her friend went, oh, do you want me to get your wallet out of your backpack? Like whatever, like as soon as we walked up, she went up and like took the wallet out of that girl's backpack. And I was like, okay. So like you saw a bunch of brown people and then immediately just, that's your first thought, huh? Interesting. So that was, that was a weird venue. But anyway, it was such a small venue that, um, it, like, the music was reverberating against the walls. And so I genuinely had to put my head down and just close my ears like this for a little while. <laughs> I saw Breaking Benjamin. I didn't use earplugs for that one. Now you're my, maybe I should go get some. Sophia has already been at this venue. Like she already saw this show on Monday. So I'll ask her for tomorrow, like how bad it is. I might genuinely need some for Sunday because the venue looks kind of small from what I saw on Google Maps. And I know it's going to be packed. I searched up online and they're like, yeah, their venues are always just packed. So I am, I'm excited, but I'm, cause like to be in the pit and everything, I'm excited. Maybe mosh a little? Am I right, guys? <laughs> Wasn't too bad, but Metallica was loud. That makes sense. Metallica is... I haven't listened to much Metallica. I don't know if I have any songs safe from them. Is Lux a turn on Metallica? Hang on. I'm trying to remember who this is. It might be. <laughs> I might have one song saved. It is Metallica! I have one song saved from, from Metallica. Yeah, yeah. I don't know how I found Lux Eterna, but... It's a good song. Jump Club, let's go! Dude, we haven't had this, like, all stream. I love this. I'm gonna go to another concert soon, but I got no one to go with. Uh, you should probably make friends. That'd be nice. It'd be nice to see, like, um, have people, you know, in your life. That'd be awesome. No, but then you wouldn't be free when I'm just on Discord and bored and just like, hey, let's play video games. I guess it doesn't happen that much, though, anymore. Which Alba is Lux's turn from again? Uh, the yellow one. <laughs> all I know is it's, like, bright yellow. <laughs> That's all I can remember. That's all I remember. I don't know. I don't, I'm, I'm really, I'm not like an elitist about music. It's just, I don't like listening to popular songs all the time. And I don't know what it is. Cause like also I hate adding every song from an album. Like whenever I go through an album, I tend to like every song. And it makes sense because I like that artist. I like the vibes of that album because I like some of the songs from it. And that's when I go and listen to the rest of the album. And it's like, it makes sense. I would like every album. You stupid bitch. Hey, how about you go fuck yourself in real life? I just asked him to jerk off in real life. That's not what I meant. How about you? Never mind. I'm over it. I forgot. I forgot what I said. I'm over it. I don't even care. Who even cares about that guy? Because I don't. Um, I, I think I'll end after two and a half hours of, uh, streaming. I think we'll go for, let's do one more, one more good game. One more good game. Like we gotta get to a finale. One more finale. Anyway. And if we win that finale, we'll do one more. Obviously my mom, mom once offered to go to a shining concert with me. And I'm so mad. I didn't take her up on that. Cause I ended up not going. Oh, you should have gone dude. I mean, I get it. Going with moms is different. Going with parents is different. Cause it's like. It's weird. I feel like <laughs> everyone's just different around other people, like than their family. It's just different. Your family knows too much. They've grown up with you. You just can't be the same. Um, what was I saying? I was, uh, lost track of mine. I lost track. I don't know. I forgot what I said. Oh yeah, I don't know where it is. Cause it's like, you can't listen to too much music. You can have 3000 songs on your playlist and you'll still like, when you play shuffle, like I, I shuffle play my music. It doesn't matter what the genre is or anything. I shuffle play my music and I stand by that. I enjoy doing that. 
Because, you know, if I need to skip, I'll skip. I can't believe that. Okay. If I need to skip, I will skip. That's, you know, whatever. But I, I stand by just shuffle playing every single genre. I don't care. Um. So, I don't know why I'm like, oh, I have to only pick certain songs from this album. Like, I get weird. I get weird about adding every single song from an album. Because I'm like, oh, like... Am I just adding them just to add them? Do I actually like them in like when they're separated? And then, you know, the same thing for like big songs. It's kind of like, I don't know. It Oh, it's back. <laughs> it's kind of like that thing of like, I feel like I'll hear it on the radio too much and then I'll get tired of it. So I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why I don't want to add songs that people know. I added Bye 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 recently because of Deadpool. That's been fun to listen to. I don't know why I randomly decided to add it, but it's good. It's, good. it's a good song. It's a good song. My dad looks like he wants to see the live, which I didn't expect because they're a Mongolian metal band and he's your average dad. I don't know that band. But I hope you have fun if you go. So if you're going to cover into a short and sweet tour, or Billy Ash, but I wouldn't have anyone to go with. Oh, wait, what did you say earlier? Oh, I'd love to go to a Shidan concert. I wouldn't have anyone to go with. I sure as hell don't want to go along. Yeah. I don't want to go alone for rare occasions. I'm glad that Barca ended up liking the songs enough to go with me. Thank gosh. Because it would have sucked going alone and... Or just taking someone that I didn't really care about. I guess. No offense to my friends who I didn't invite. <laughs> just telling them I don't care about them. It's not like that, guys. Look, the vibes are off. Zen said it too, so you have to understand. The vibes are off. Okay? I don't want to spend time with, like, a lot of people right now. I'm, I'm just trying to chill. On my own, mostly. With like a handful of people. Stop grabbing me. Oh my god. I like using the listen along feature in Discord. Yeah, I remember I was listening to music once and you used that feature. And it was weird to me at first. And I felt like I had to cue songs that were actually good. <laughs> but, you know. It was fun. It was fun listening along. I queued some songs I thought you would like. Um, it's an interesting feature. I never listen along. I'm my own person. I just want to listen to my own stuff. <laughs> I have so many new songs to listen to that I haven't even gotten to meeting other people's opinions yet. Really. I have so many that I want to get to for my own sake that I just haven't yet. There's so many reasons the vibes are offense crazy. Um, I mean, I know because of your ex and stuff, but <laughs> what are the other reasons? If you don't mind sharing, or is that like the DM stuff that you want to tell me? Nonsense by Sabrina Car Carpenter. Which one's nonsense? I have a couple of Sabrina songs. Um, I actually should go through her full album because I do like the. Is it a. It is banana. I do like the songs that I've listened to, so I feel like I should go through the full album. Um... Oh my god! <laughs> Jesus! Sent me flying. That's never happened. My god. Always new stuff to encounter in this game, right guys? It's so new and fresh and such a good game. Uh, okay. Four green, three red, one purple. I got sent to outer space. I picked you up. You don't want to be on my back? Okay, whatever. One, uh, one banana, two green, four coconuts. One thing that's off is when my friends started dating my best use most recent ex. Oh my gosh. <laughs> College drama. Very silly stuff. Three green? Alright, I'll trust you. I feel like I was a pack leader for that. I brought everyone over. Thank you for telling me. You you saved me in that one. Although I probably would have just followed someone else. <laughs> I haven't had- I'm kind of bored right now. I feel like I need more drama in my life. 
I don't want drama personally. I want to experience other people's drama. I want to hear about how my friends are cheating on my friends and this guy is fighting this guy and you know i haven't had drama in like a year i feel like i'm just like i'm kind of bored take some from me see it spills so much tea let's do it let me know tell me all about it read all about it i got tea here all right is this gonna be one of the difficult ones there's some of these button pressings Oh, there is someone here. I didn't see them at first. And I was like, is there anyone actually playing against me this time? Okay, good. Oh, okay, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Okay. Very nice. I got that. I got you. Guys, I think I'm going to win this one. This guy sucks. Oh, dang. You can have it. It's all yours. And I think you're gonna get that one too, and then... Ooh, close, 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 close. No, I got it. <laughs> loser, 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 you have no friends, you have no friends, you have no friends. Oh, your mom hates you. Oops. Yoink. Yoink! Ah, oh, this guy sucks! Oh, I love- I love this game. I really do like this level a lot. What are we seeing? Oh, over there. You have it. You can have that one. It's all yours. <laughs> Sorry, that was- that last one was me and I didn't have to- I didn't have to hit that last one. I could have been a little nicer, but I just didn't want to. Um... Oh my gosh. I really like those one-on-one -on -one levels, especially the button masters. I think the button masters was the first one-on-one -on -one level they put. Um, it's one of my favorites. That last one was, yeah, that last one was mean. I heard the clock ticking down. I didn't need to do it. I had like a nine point lead or something. And I just still did it and I feel a little bad about it now. I like spreading love and joy in this game. Only five people in a blast ball, huh? I don't know how to feel about that. Hi, friend. You almost killed me, Cuphead. I've died enough with you, Mugman. Not Cuphead. <gasps> Die. <gasps> Die. <laughs> I kind of want that Cuphead to die. That Mugman. He's pissing me off. He's making me angry. <gasps> Let's go! Oh my god, I love you. I almost said, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> I almost said, I love you, black guy. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> I just know how I meant it. Alright, relax. <laughs> what else am I supposed to say? <laughs> Alright, this is getting a little hectic. <laughs> Oh, you died. You just killed your. All right. All right. Let's see if we can do this. Let's see if we can just do this. Let's see if we can just do this. <laughs> Are we gonna do this? Yo, let's go, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Double win. Double win. Sharing the crown. Sharing the gold medal right now. No, don't do that. No, we're friends. No, we're friends. We're friends. We're friends, man. Hug me. This is awesome. Why are you mad at me? There is an ending to this, right? A timer or something? <laughs> I got him. I stole his soul. I won the crown. <laughs> What's up, guys? Did I win? 
Yeah, let's go. That was awesome. Can't believe I won one. All right, one more, dude. Let's run it back. <laughs> I sounded possessed. <laughs> I was terrified. <laughs> so, so you know, over under, Risco, how much more terrifying or less terrifying is that compared to when I yell at Hollow Knight? Thank you for the stretch. I'm actually going to get up and stretch. Appreciate you. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I feel so good recently because I have this new, new, like, ergonomic chair. And I just bought a new table, a new desk. It's foldable. It's sitting right there right now. It's foldable, so I can just put it. This was less terrifying? Interesting. Um, see, I just put the table over there for now, but I was using it right before stream, and it's so... Dude, I feel so good right now. I have actually good furniture. I have stuff that's, like, built to help me be productive. I feel so good right now. It's not even all super expensive. It's about as expensive as you expect, like, an office chair and a foldable desk to be, I think. But we didn't, like, overspend just to get... Because, like, that's something I hate is, like, overspending for the sake of a vibe right like just trying to fit a vibe like if you want to do it just for fun yeah do it but i wouldn't i'm just saying like like me personally i wouldn't but um <laughs> good job idiot um so yeah like i wouldn't overspend just to get like an office chair that's marketed as super productive chair or whatever but having a chair that's actually good feels really nice. Having a table that allows me to work, because my stream setup takes up a lot of space, so I really can't work. Uh, nobody wants to work anymore. I really can't work at my desk here where I'm sitting that well because of the office chair. So it is nice to have all this stuff. This is the last game, unless we win one. We gotta do one more. And that will be the last game because we'd be at a hat trick by then, I think. Well, I mean, not I think. I know. I know how math works. It's one plus one plus one is three, and three is a hat trick, so. Speaking of hat trick, dude, that... I've been watching so much soccer right now, because I subscribe to the Barcelona YouTube channel. And so I've been, like, watching a bunch of their, like, YouTube shorts that they've posted. Our team is so crazy this year, dude. This season's awesome. I remember I was complaining when the friendlies were happening or like right when they were ending because I was like it's a bad year for Barcelona like I don't think we're gonna win this you know I was worried because we lost 3-0 for our own cup and stuff and it was just like dude like I, I was not excited but this season for my soccer team has been so good we have been killing it it's been amazing We've lost one game this whole league, which is really good. And honestly, that that game that we lost is just because we put some of our star players um, on the bench so that they could rest because they needed that rest. So all the starters were like rookies and stuff. And still, when you put rookies on the starting line, you generally still, you don't want to lose. Like you still want to put in enough good players to, and you know you want to make sure that those rookies are trained up enough that they have some good defense and offense you know like you're not just throwing that game but it does feel a little less bad that we lost that one and then we th we came back from that with another like we won 5-0 in the champions league which was crazy we a team had a self goal against us in a game recently which was so funny to watch Hilarious. This job application has a non-binary option for gender. Let's go. Let's go. Very nice. A lot more uh, companies are doing that. It's been it's, it's been nice to see. There's a lot more. Um, like every time I fill out, fill out a form, I've been seeing it a lot more. Good stuff, guys. We like to see it. All right, we're almost done. Boom. So there's a new, it, I haven't been keeping up with Marvel now uh, much, but there's a new Agatha show, Agatha all along. I did not know that that was coming, and now I'm just hearing about it like a bunch, and I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> How did I not know that this was happening? But kind of crazy that there's just 
a show based on like WandaVision. A lot of stuff based on WandaVision. They did Doctor Strange, they did now this, like it's it's I know they always said like you don't have to watch the shows, but I feel like that's not true. Has anyone watched them? Do you guys even keep up with Marvel anymore? I really I really don't watch anymore. I've tr I'm trying. I'm trying to um But yeah, I guess I have not cared that much. Oversaturation, yeah. I still want to make a superhero show. <laughs> it's always been something I want to do. I've had one cooking in my brain since seventh grade, I believe. Uh, and I, I, every time I'm like in the shower or bored, I'll just work on it a little bit more, like in my head. I'll just keep thinking about it. So like, you know, and I feel like it's better because it's it's less about the superheroes and it's more about uh, coming of age and like character growth and stuff. I feel like Marvel has strayed away from the characters and it's delved more into the just funky, hey look, it's superheroes. And I think that's the problem. We're about to get the max points that you can possibly get. Let's go. 24. I haven't watched the Doctor Strange movie. Yeah, the, but the second one sucks. Don't worry, it sucks, it's terrible. Write down because if you die, it's gone forever. That's fine with me. Uh, you guys don't deserve to have it if I can't get it down on paper. <laughs> I have worried before, what if I get amnesia somehow and I lose it? Like I genuinely have had that thought of like, what if I actually get amnesia and I lose the entire story because it's just gone forever. But then it was meant to happen, you know? I do, you know what I want to do is I want, after I graduate from college, when I have more free time, hopefully, I want to lock in on one thing. And I think that one thing, when I get out, first thing is going to be learning how to make comics. Like learning how to draw, learning how to do that comic style, learning how to write, and figuring all of it out. And I want to make comics for the superhero thing. And it's such a, like, it's such a big goal but it's like if i work up there incrementally like if i learn how to like do all these different things and if i write out the stories and if i like there's still so many different things to learn in that one goal like i can learn i like when i'm bored i can do a bunch of different stuff right like i can write i can draw i can do anything i want so there's a lot of options even like because i need different options i can't do one thing i can't just sit down and just draw like i need different things to do whenever i whatever i'm feeling so um yeah, I don't know. I was thinking about that. I can help you learn. You know what's, what's funny is like, I'm sure you could. I, whenever I have a project, I'm so like, I'm such a lone wolf about projects. I don't know why. Maybe it's just because I want all the credit. <laughs> Maybe that's why. But I just, I don't want people knowing what I'm doing really too much. Because I also had this problem where I would say I want to do things and I don't do it. And I still do that where I'm like, I, I say I want to do things, but I don't get around to it. And that feels bad because it's like I'm kind of letting people down. Or even if no one really cares, it's like I'm letting myself down. Because I'm saying it, I'm saying it, and I'm like making myself feel like I'm going to do it. And I don't do it. So, it's like, you know, if you have an art question, I got you. Yeah, that's, that's fair. I'll let you know. Anyway, it's a long way away. Because I would love to start it now. But I know with college, like, I don't have time. And I'm doing CS50 now. I'm doing, you know, I'm trying to get an internship, all that stuff. So I don't have free time. I'm hoping I get some free time. And if I get some free time and I want to, like, learn art and stuff, maybe I will. Maybe I can do streams of, like, learning art. I don't know. I've done art streams before. It wasn't my favorite thing because it kind of stressed me out because I'm not a good artist. But maybe it'll be better when I'm better. Um, but yeah, you know, I'll learn how to make, draw humans. Especially in the comic book style. I feel like that's more fun for me than doing realistic stuff right now because I'm an iPad kid. Um, but yeah, I want to do, I want big goals like that. I want stuff that people want. I want to do stuff that people want to do their whole lives and they go their whole lives not doing because they feel like they can't. And I want to do those things. But like stuff that I want to do, right? I'm not doing it for other people. Like I want to do stuff that. If someone were me and they had those passions, they might be like, oh, you know, that's too difficult. It's not possible, whatever. And I want to do that. And I want to push myself. And that's the hope. 
Spent most of my hour and 15 minute lecture drawing today. Yeah, I saw you said that. A lot of the drawings with Shady was was fun. I've definitely done that in past um, lectures. I got really bored and I would just doodle and draw and stuff. It was fun. Doing reels on how to because you gotta learn the rules in order to break them. I feel like that phrase, you gotta learn the rules in order to break them, does not fully apply here because it's different styles. Like, I get what you mean in terms of anatomy and stuff, but like, comic book anatomy is just not normal anatomy. Like, I feel like it is kind of different. And also, I don't like going by the conventional rules of like, oh, you gotta know the rules to break them, whatever. Like, that's, that's like the advice that people give you. I never go by that advice. And it's not because I think I'm better. Like, I think it does make it more difficult. But I just, I know that if I if I put that thing on myself of, oh, you have to learn this before you do the thing you want to do, then you'll never do the thing you want to do because you have to do this thing first. And that's boring. So why would you do that? So you never get to the thing you wanted to do because it, oops, because it's just like, oh, why would I do it? So I don't care. I don't care if it's harder. I don't care if it's maybe like takes, you know, takes longer to uh, perfect. <laughs> Did we get both? We got Slime Scraper and Slime Climb. Is that back to back? That's crazy, by the way. Didn't even realize that. Literally the same level twice, essentially. But yeah, I don't know. I'll try different art stuff. Like maybe when I start comic book style, I want I'll want to delve out to other stuff and do, you know, um, realism or do like more, um, whatever. Not be scared of tracing for practice. Yeah, no, I got you. Don't post it. I think I should more. I think I should. Just to learn different poses and do stuff like that. Oh, another Fall Mountain. I think we got lucky enough winning this once. I don't think we're going to win it again. I got the burps right now. God damn. Relax. My throat. Or my lungs. I don't know. How do burps work? It's my... It's... It's the fact that I talk too much. It's the fact that I talk too much and also maybe because I eat before stream. But I didn't eat that soon before stream. Maybe I did. Maybe I did today. Maybe I'm lying. Oh my gosh. I let go of the thing for a second. Yeah, that sucks. I've fallen behind. And then I get hit like that. Yeah, I think Pink's gonna win it. Yep, yep, yep. GG's though. Oh. I got close. I didn't do too bad. I think I pose myself and kind of either reference them or trace them over it to get poses. Okay. Maybe I'll do that. That seems better, I feel like, than... I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. I'll get into art eventually. It's kind of daunting to me right now. I've, I've said this before on stream. I want to spend the rest of my life doing things I'm scared of doing. But that's not easy. So we'll see how we go. Prototype. Nice pattern. It's not bad. Um, So we got to win one more solos. I got to win three duos, three squads, which I'll probably ask Ali and Phoenix for help with. Got to do some explore. Got to do some more knockout. I might... Do explore and knockout on my own at some point. I feel like I might just do all this off stream because we have four days left and I don't know if I even have time to stream. I have two concerts coming up. Um, so I don't know if I'll even have time to stream because I'm doing like one more stream on Saturday. And unless that gets canceled and suddenly I'm like very free, I don't think I'll really want to stream this again. But like I said, I try to do one stream for each of uh, Fall Guys event just for the sake of doing it and just being like, hey, you know, we did this. Like, this thing happened. Um, so why not save it for later so that people can be like, I wonder what events Fall Guys has had. Or I can go back and see what we've done. But yeah. Hey, VOD, thanks so much for watching. Take care. Much love. I'll see you very soon. Goodbye.